So this is the coffin of Andy and Laylee. Um, everyone on Twitter says it's incest. It's an incesty game. Max, do you prefer in or cest? Well, we're about to find out. So don't you worry. You worry your pretty little head about it. Oh, I have to move. I thought this was a visual novel. Okay. Um. Hmm. X is menu slash cancel. Shift is run. Shoot. It's the best way to control this. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'll move. Move, shift, space, and X. Move, sh move, shift, space, and X. Um, okay. Episode one, the coffin. Andy, Lele, I don't want to. Well, I do. Just go over and to uh, F you. I thought she's your friend. Mom said you'd help me with anything. <laughs> right out of the bat. Yeah, they're talking about incest right away. We'll get in trouble. Good morning, Ashley. Ugh. As much as you love feeling sorry for yourself, it is time for a little interlude. It is titled, Find Nutrients to Not Die. Ready, set, go! Oh, th I, my legs don't even animate. That sucks. A bunch of rented movies. Their due date passed ages ago, but what can you do? I don't fart and know. Mother won't pick up no matter how many times you call. But you've also tried order to order food a bazillion times, but for whatever reason, the orders never arrive. Oh my god, it's white noise. How thrilling. You wouldn't want to be stuck at home when you've got entertainment like this. Alright, well I guess I'm Ashley, even though I thought I was Lele, but... Well, it's fine. Guys, is it too loud? Turn it down a little bit just in case. Just in case. Just a little bit. Andrew is asleep. You can't eat him. Wasn't interested in that, but. Dirty laundry. Ew, gross. Dirty laundry. In the trash lies your hope and hopes and dreams. Exactly where they belong. An alarm clock is ticking away. Get out of here. Front door won't budge. You've been locked in here for months now. Okay, well that's no good. Junk and unpaid bills. They cannot be eaten. Inside the cabinets is nothing! It's gonna be another cannibalism game. It's gonna be another cooking companion situation. This game is so mean. Maxi, chill? I'm not gonna chill as long as you call me Maxi. Hmm. This is where you and your older brother pile your trash. It's already been scavenged several times and is truly and utterly exhausted as a food source. But wait, what is that? You got a can of tomatoes. There's no way they would There's no way that would be in the trash if they've scavenged it sev several times over. That would have gotten eaten first. Amazing. You should show that to your brother. Can I go this way? Oh, is this my bed? Your parents have fucked on this bed. Oh yeah, hot. I love it when my parents fuck. Whatever, just leave it. Yeah, I love thinking about my parents fucking. The freezer is completely empty. Anything this way? The balcony door is locked. What about this way? Oh, the bathroom. It's a cleaning closet. Inside are various supplies, such as trash bags. And a turlet. And a shower. It's a washing machine. 
detergent. Drinking this gets more and more tempting every day. Brother, to wake up, I have found canned tomato. You show him the tomato can. Ta-da! Not the reaction you were hoping for. Ahem. Ta-da! We're not eating that. Huh? No. That's the very last thing we have, Ashley. I think we should hold on to it a little longer. Quit your complaining. I didn't say anything. You're energetic enough to go rummaging through our trash, so clearly you're not dying yet. Huh? How did you know this was in... Because I hid it there, away from you. <gasps> I live in a den of snakes. Oh, don't rile me up. You're making me hungry. Do you know what would help with that, Andrew, my dear? No, put the tomatoes away somewhere. Put them in my mouth, I will. I can see that your heart is set on this. Fine, let's eat them then. Screw our future selves. Time for you to cook some tomatoes. Ugh, I hate tomatoes. You guys like tomatoes? I am not a fan. Oh, someone's at the door. Good day, are you still alive in there? Hello? If you won't make a sound, I'll assume you're dead. And I don't bring food for the dead. Food? You don't bring it to the living either. Ha, I take it that is a yes, still alive. And don't blame me for the deliveries, for the delivery guys screwing up. Can't you go grab something from the store for us? Nah, not my job. I'll check in on you again later. Bye. No, wait, 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 come back. He doesn't. God damn it. Well, shoot. It's still locked. This is still a bathroom. Mm. This is still the bed my parents fuck on. Hot. So where's my bed? Am I the- oh, is this my bed? Me and my brother share the same room? That'd be weird. I'll be in there in a bit. Okay. Dirty laundry. Hmm. Sigh. You boil the canned tomatoes and make delicious boiled canned tomatoes. That does not sound delicious. There's even a little bit of pepper left to season with. This is some gourmet stuff right here. No salt, though. You've used all of it to spike your water in order to avo avoid overhydrating yourself while drinking to fill your stomach. Let me get a sip of water real quick. I got a nice cube. Sorry. Well, how was it? At this point, you could feed me a can of worms and I'd say it's the best thing I ever ate. Is this just like aping on own, uh, cooking companions? Is this just another cannibalism game? Because, man, I really loved cooking companions, but I don't know if I want another one. Kiss ass. No, I'm saying that's how hungry I am. It is in that moment that an ominous audio assaults your eardrums. Are you kidding me? The neighbor is at it again. Want to go take a peek? No. But I'll come along if you do. Here, catch. Got balcony key. Oh, he's joined my party. Unlocked the balcony door. Hmm, can't really see squat from here. You contemplate if you should take a leap of faith towards the neighbor's balcony. There's only the fourth floor. Ashley, don't even think about it. Aw, he's no fun. Guess you'll have to set something up to cross. Hmm. An ashtray. There are no cigarettes left to smoke. But it's still good for bashing things in. Okay. So, I guess I need a big plank of wood. That plank of wood? You got a wooden plank. Well, what do you know? 
Beautiful. Set down the wooden plank, and now I can cross. Oh boy. Oh demons from hell, hear my plea! Oh the unholy ones, I come seeking your advice! What did I stumble on? God damn it! What am I doing wrong? I thought that was perfect. I knew I should have killed that guy when I had the chance. Hmm. What do you make of that? Uh, everyone needs a hobby, I guess. Forget this. Isn't it almost time they let us watch a TV? Yes, let's go watch a TV. Well, the remote is dead. Just push the buttons on the TV. Eh, what a pain. Fine, I'll fetch some batteries for you. I always have to do everything around here. Yeah, yeah, woe is you. It is! Batteries, batteries. Who's got the batteries? Hmm. Batteries in bedroom, maybe? Batteries in trash? No. Batteries in bed? Batteries in desk? You take the batteries out of an out of the alarm clock. Got batteries. Okay. Thank you kindly. Now praise me. Wow, amazing. You did such a bang-up job. More. Oh, you haven't sent God's gift to humanity. How did life ever subsist in your absence? No one fetches battery like batteries like you do. I stand in awe of your very existence. You sit in awe. You should sit too. It's starting. You know, for brother and sister, they're... They're oddly flirtatious. Is that just in my imagination? I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna say that's in my imagination. <laughs> Today we share with you some joyous developments in regards to the tainted water situation. All I'm saying is, I remember being a teenager and I had a sister. And we did not talk like this to each other. We did not. You're seeing what you want to, lol. Uh, hey, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, when I was a teenager, me and my sister did not talk like this. Max... If I don't see incest within the next three seconds, I'm gonna go watch PewDiePie? Well, have fun watching PewDiePie, I guess. We're happy to announce that all apartments to which the tainted water had been delivered have been secured. It has been three months since the first incident was discovered and the death toll is now at a comfy 53 total. No biggie. And the quarantine period for those whom are at risk have been extended by another two weeks. Again?! And to our friends in quarantine, thank you for keeping your disgusting, parasite-infested bodies far, far away from me. Sorry, it's... Thank you for your continued consideration to the public safety. That's all for today. Cheers. I'm going to bed. You decide to do the same. Wait, Mom, where are you going? Me and your father will be staying at a hotel for a bit. I thought they said we should stay at home until... I didn't drink anything. Mom. Not booze, not dirty contaminated water, nothing. The only thing I've drank is some orange juice from a carton. Anyway, I'm gonna miss my bus. You and Andrew can join us later. Alright, this won't hurt a bit. The nurse sticks a needle in you. It hurts like a motherfucker! There we go. And now you. How long do we have to stay home? The results from your blood work will be done tomorrow. So if everything is well, you're free to come and go as you please after that. And if not, then you'll get to see what happens if not. That's all for now. Take care. Hmm. Stop calling me, Ashley, please. If you need something, ask the workers there. I can't do anything for you. 
And I don't want to hear these lies about starving anymore. Why the hell would I lie about this? Listen, this new apartment is a bit of a fixer-upper, so I'm really busy. Besides, isn't Andrew there with you? What do you need me to pacify you for? You get to laze around all day doing nothing. I don't know what you've got to complain about. Anyway, I've got to go. Please don't call anymore. I won't answer. That's a hell of a thing for a mother to say to her child. G goodbye, Ashley. I'm sorry. After reminiscing all night, you wake up, as one does. Instead of ruminating upon your misery, you decide to clean the house up a bit. Picked up some laundry. Picked up some laundry. And he's sleeping. Ooh, actually, this might be some laundry. Nope, can't take that. Never mind. You're not going to get this clean with your bare hands. Okay. Um, is that laundry? No, can't take that. Cleaned up some books. Yeah. Cleaning simulator. What else could you clean? I don't know. Are these piles of trash? Detergent. Got a mop. Mopped some dirt. Hmm. Max, did your sister look like the girl in the game when you were younger? Uh, maybe. Why, what are you implying, young man? Max, how do you talk with your sister if not in this flirty way? Uh, in a non-flirty way? I mean, do you not know what it's like to have siblings? I don't know if I would recommend it. It's not for everyone. It wasn't for me, frankly. Boxes are full of useless junk. Bothering your satanic neighbor seems like a bad idea. A blunt object. Well, oh, you know what? Maybe I can try putting those clothes in the washing machine. It needs some more laundry. Okay. Um, I don't really see any laundry just laying around. Hey, bud, do you have any laundry for me? Oh, there we go. <sighs> You're cleaning? What a waste of energy. You're a waste of energy. Thanks. Just don't overdo it. Come to think of it, do we even have any detergent left? I don't know. You need to be a creepy sibling and sniff your brother's clothes. No thanks. I'll just be a normal sibling. You run the laundry. You're feeling dizzy. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoops. Damn it, Ashley. I told you not to overdo it. Huh? Good news once again. Some of you may have heard from your loved ones that there's been supply shortages in the quarantined households. Well, boy, are we pleased to announce that all of that has been taken care of. It has? Does it look like I'm eating right now? On that note, we'd like to remind all of you not to enter the contaminated apartments. 
No, your friends don't need anything from you. Everything is taken care of. Should you still feel the urge to help, the staff will be administering bullets directly into your brains as a thank you. Ooh, that sounds bad. I hope that clears things up a bit. Moving on to our next story, a brand new art museum will be... You drift back into unconsciousness. You're too tired to get the phone. Hello? Of course. What is it? The shift in the tone of his voice makes you strain your ears. No, no. Go ahead. Someone is talking on the other end of the line, but you can't make out the words. They sound more and more upset as they talk, though. Well, that's... I mean, I can't do anything about that. Or I can try talking to her, but... No. Or, I mean, yes, but that doesn't... No, I'm not angry. I'm just... No, I... Can you let me talk? The voice on the other end must have said no. It's increasingly loud, but you still can't make out all the words. Always about... You don't... Lay and Ashley and... I've had time to think. Just can't anymore. So, that's it then? Now it's quiet on both ends. Well, alright, I guess. What else is there to say? Sorry? Although I really don't see why I should be held accountable for... A faint beep 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 of a dropped call can be heard. Ah. Sigh. Who was it? My ex-girlfriend, apparently. Ooh, she dumped you? Why is that? Why do you think? How should I know? Maybe because you're a parasite-infested homebody that's apparently perma-quarantined? Or because she found someone new? It's been a few months, buddy. Or maybe she just didn't like you that much in the first place. Wow, what a bitch. Whatever you say, Ashley. What a bitchy, bitchy sister I have. Damn. You know what? Let me take the stream chat and put it over here. So that I can see. There we go. Now I don't have to look over to the other uh, side of the screen. Damn, this game sounds depressing. Well, welcome to the, the club, pal. You know? Whatever. You pretend to sleep until you really fall asleep. Now you've been out for who knows how long. You figure you should check on your brother. Let's hope he's dead. All sisters are bitchy? It's normal? Yeah, maybe. Mine certainly was. Someone from your apartment is getting hauled into an ambulance. Hey, me too! People are yelling from their windows and balconies. I need some help too! Please, please, I'm starving! Soon the ambulance leaves in a hurry. Color me surprised. They actually got that person some help. I figured they'd just let her die. Maybe she did die. She wasn't moving. As if they'd have their sirens blaring for a corpse. And what do you suppose was her emergency? No idea. Nobody showed up when you fainted. Well, did you call for anyone? What do you think, dumbass? Ugh, I don't know. Maybe she went into labor or something. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. I think they'd bring me food if I got pre- Nope. Let me finish. How would you even get pregnant in here? Uh-oh. Well, we do have that one charming fellow right next door. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> don't fuck your brother. Over my dead body? He seemed a little off his rocker, so who knows? He might just end you. Forget this. Well, excuse the hell out of me for exploring my options here! I just want to get pregnant! That woman didn't look pregnant anyway. Whatever, it was just a thought. Jackass. You'd like to go after Andrew and tell him it ain't none of his business anyway. But you're just too exhausted. Max, everyone said this is an incest game. Why are you shocked? I'm not shocked. I'm just kind of hoping for not incest. 
Max, would you ever get pregnant? I, I mean, I don't know. I don't think that's possible. Getting pregnant? I don't think so. After sleeping for a few hours, or maybe a few days, who knows, you're fully revitalized and bursting with energy. Oh, I can't even... I can't even walk like I used to. I don't feel so bursting with energy. Looking inside the box of spiders and finding spiders inside. Yeah, it's like the bag in Arrested Development that says dead birds in the freezer. Well, I don't know what I expected. Oh, you silly lazy bones. What day is it? How long have you been locked in your apartment now? Where the hell does Andrew get the energy to make so much noise? Hey, brother, what's up? He has unscrewed the lock and is attempting to kick the door in. Or out, depending on your perspective. How many more times are you going to try that? It's clearly barred from the other side somehow. What else am I supposed to do? If you don't stop banging on the door, I won't be bringing you any food tonight. You won't either way. Says you, the delivery will be here in a matter of hours. But I guess you don't want anything. Yeah, that's right. Now you better stop bang, bang, banging on the door, or next it'll be me banging your head against the wall, dadgummit. I added that little dadgummit in there. It's just some flair from me, I guess. The man's footsteps fade away. Do you think they'll really get that delivery today? Like, I didn't fuck this up for us, did I? Unlikely. Though, I guess we'll see. And see you did. That absolutely nothing was delivered. Sigh. Talk about something. I got nothing. Try. So... Parasites. It's been a few months. Are you feeling anything? Hunger. I'd think something would be happening to us by now. But I haven't noticed anything. That nurse never came back either. Like, don't you want to monitor us? Ugh, who cares? Me, Ashley, I care. Well, I don't. Nor care, nor care that you care. Well, I don't care, nor care that you care? I don't know if that, that might be an error. It might be a grammatical error. Aside from the starving, it's not so bad here. Come again? Aside from the starving, I like it here. Well, I don't. I'm gonna jump off the balcony. Ooh, I'll race you. <laughs> no, seriously, let's go. Let's not, though I appreciate your eagerness to join me. But it's a bit too romantic, so I'll pass. Why romantic? Why use the word romantic? In a conversation with your sister. That's your sister, you know that, right? Even though you both have girls' haircuts. Excuse me? What, you don't see it? Just imagine hitting the ground together. With such force, our bodies turn into a pile of gory mush, never to be separated. Our remains would be so tangled up, they'd have to bury us together in the same coffin. Might as well. We've been confined together in this coffin of an apartment for what feels like an eternity already. I'm not jumping off the balcony with you. Get your head checked. I should get my head checked. And no wonder your girlfriend dumped you, if those are your plans for romance. Not romance. I said romantic. They're not the same thing. Romantic just means something as... The neighbor starts blasting his favorite ritual music for all to hear. Again? I wish he'd just... Hmm, what was that? You feel like you should check up on that. It's Satan? Well, I certainly hope not. My lord, you've come. And you're, uh... A little smaller than I imagined. I... I love it! 
It's better than I imagined. That's all I meant. What do you offer, human? Oh, uh, I... I don't have much to give right now. But if you'll help me get out of here, I can get you anything you wish. Is that no good? As you wish, human. Oh, my lord, thank you, thank you. Perish! Darkness clouds your vision and you cannot see what's happening. By the time your vision returns, the entity, the entity has vanished. On the ground lay the lifeless body of the cultist. Oh boy, that was no good. So, uh... Am I already delirious, or did you see that too? Do we, uh... Do you want to check on him? At the very least, I want to turn off that CD player. That's what you're concerned about? I am not listening to this for the rest of my life, Andrew. You make it sound like we're gonna die any day now. Well, aren't we? Well, I'm not. There's got to be something that guy has that we can eat. Ooh, burglary time! Shut up and let's get in there. Did he break his windows? The doorknob taunts you from the other side of the glass. Hmm. Hmm. Save. Okay. Options. Item. Okay. Blunt object. Door unlocked. Yeah. <laughs> Not the incest game. No. See? It is the incest game. Guys, just try to be pretty open-minded about this, okay? Like, yeah, sure. It's incest. Yeah, sure. The person who made this game is going straight to hecky. While, the loot while looting the jacket's pockets, you find a wallet with $666.66 bucks inside. Now you've got a real moral dilemma here. Stealing a dead man's wallet, will you split it with Andrew? Sure. Daw, aren't you a sweetheart? Hmm. I'll use some of mine to treat you to to, to treat you something someday, maybe. I needed an editor on this to get out all of these grammatical errors. It does seem like a lot of visual novels have grammatical errors in them. On the counter sits some cooking equipment. Okay. Both the fridge and freezer are empty. I turn that off. Beautiful. Bathroom smells of feces, and you feel zero inclination to investigate further. The closet is big enough to hide in. Okay. That's a lot of meat, you think to yourself. What? Out loud, apparently. Though, I mean... Is it still illegal if we didn't kill the guy? Is what illegal? Well, you know. Oh, you want to eat him. Uh, isn't that what you were insinuating? Nah, I was just making an observation. Ah, uh, but we can't. If we do eat him, then that's it for us. There's no way we wouldn't get caught once they finally let us out. But it's not like we killed the guy. I think just messing with the corpse is a crime too. That's right, it is. Well, I think they should look past it, given that there's nothing else to eat. Will the staff here admit that they didn't give us enough food, though? And before that, you're really gonna tell them a demon killed him? Really? That'll fly. Listen, you're overthinking the hell out of this. Are we doing this or not? Andrew, I'm expecting an answer. Uh... Um... Y yeah... Alright then, let's find something to butcher him with. Oh my god. Oh, and look, a knife. Can I open the door? Nope. It's just as locked as your door. Hmm. Got a cleaver. 
This is certainly getting into the cannibalism a lot faster than cooking companions did. First, you chop off the cultist's right arm. Next up is left arm. You can't carry him out in the open like this. Just be quick about it. No. Can't you get some plastic bags or something? I'll take care of the rest in the meantime, I guess. Hmm. I'm counting on you, Andy. Don't call me that. You hand him the cleaver. Okay, I need plastic bags. Plastic bags. Or just any kind of bags. Hmm. Trash bags? While yes, these are perfectly suitable plastic bags, they are also full already. You'd rather not carry the meat you're about to eat inside a used trash bag. Find something else. Any of you guys know how long this game is? Hmm. <laughs> is it finished? Am I playing an unfinished game? Hmm. I don't like the sound of that. 74 hours. Oh, okay. You got some plastic bags. A. Got left leg. The plastic bags aren't big enough to fit the whole torso in them. Crap, I don't think we can cut through the spine either. Just fold them over? I don't think that's gonna work. Watch and learn. Yeah, see? It, if anyone happens to be looking out of their window, it'll be a disaster. Maybe if I use two bags? Listen, this isn't going to... Ta-da! Hmm. <laughs> Good God. No, don't make me laugh at this. I don't have the power to make you do anything, Andrew. All right, all right, enough. Gather the limbs up and go. There should be plenty of room for them in the freezer. I'll stuff the torso and head in the in his freezer for now. Then I'll go cook some then I'll go cook us something while you're at it. Yeah, you'll cook quite the something. Got right arm. Got right leg. Got left arm. As a Slavic person, I don't understand what the hell did you like in the Cooking Companions. Characters are so boring and predictable, I wanted to eat them myself. But you need to cook first, because they are so raw. Um, what did I like about Cooking Companions? I guess just the way the story unfolds. Um, the music, the atmosphere. The dialogue wasn't great. You know, I'll give you that. It wasn't, you know, it's... You know, it, 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 it's not Shakespeare. Um, the characters were probably boring. But I didn't, you know... I didn't enjoy it for the characters, I would say. You place the severed limbs in the freezer. Now, which ones do you want to eat? I want to eat... Right leg! Alright, time to cook. Nope, not there. You fry some meat. Dinner's ready. Tee hee, I'm a girl. Right, so what are we having? Pure deliciousness is what? Eat up. You first. Munch munch. Huh? What? Oh, you already... Uh, okay. Eat, Andrew. You will not waste this. Um... R right. Andrew takes a bite out of your cooking. I don't think he likes it. He begins retching. No, you don't. Hmm? <laughs> this game this game is some weird fetish bait. I, th I think whoever made this game is a pervert. This game was made by a weirdo. I'm sorry. I think... <laughs> I don't want to sound... 
I don't want to sound too critical here, but I think this is a pervert game. I think this was made by a weirdo. <laughs> Uh, it was an okay game, but damn, most of the stupid dating sims have the same level of plot, but with actual dating. Well, I don't, I don't play Cooking Companions or this for dating. Not every visual novel needs to be a dating sim. In fact, I think it might even be for the worse that all of them are expected to be. You can stop playing at any time, Max. Well. No, I want to experience this. This is a... You know, somebody worked hard on this game. And I'm gonna play it. They might be a weirdo. They might have a, you know, a, a twin-cest fetish. But... You know, we could feel like, um... We could just kind of consider this to be like outsider art, you know? This is outsider art. When we're playing this game, it's almost like we're taking a peek into the mind of the weirdo who made it. And we're seeing what it's like to truly be a weirdo. You know? Just a thought. Swallow. All of it. Gulp. <laughs> well, well, how is it? It's... God, I hate picky eaters. I made this with love. So you're not leaving the table before you've licked the plate clean. Quit your nagging, woman. Then quit your gagging, you big baby. I'll eat it, all right? Just give me a minute. Max, your art is an outsider art. Yeah, to a certain extent. Um, maybe a little bit. I don't, you know, I'm not making art that involves you know, incest and vor. You know, that's not me. I don't make something like that. So I'm not quite as much of an outsider as this gentleman, I think, is. <laughs> Under your watchful eye, he slowly finishes his plate. Good boy, I'm so proud of you. Just fuck off, Ashley. What an odd way to say thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks a bunch. I'll clear the table, so leave me alone. Got a very limited set of spices left. But what do you think I should try next? Ugh, I don't know. Maybe coriander? Alright, I'll try that tomorrow then. I'm off to bed now. Night night. Yeah, good night. Hmm. I go to bed. You fall asleep, fully content with your life decisions. Also, who the fuck called their brother good boy? Like I said, like I said, they have some very, very unusual dialogue. This is a complicated relationship that this brother and sister have. Said she likes you. Who? My friend from school. Or at least I thought she was a friend. So, are you going to be her boyfriend? No, gross. Ha 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 ha. I should teach her a lesson. You're my brother. Mine. I'll make her think twice before stealing from another woman. Oh yeah, you're a girl too. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Somehow you don't count as a lady in my mind. Or as a person, for that matter. Screw you. I am the most personist lady in the world. So anyway, I'm going to take her to that old warehouse and lock her in one of the crates. Yeah, yeah. Seriously. Mom gave me some money to go buy groceries. Are you coming with? Focus, Andy. Let's leave her sitting there all night. That'll show her. Let's not. Hehe, <laughs> you should go ask her to hang out. She won't say no then. Lele, I don't want to. Just go over and ask her to come with you. Take her to the warehouse and we'll see what happens. Come on. Mom said you'd help me with anything. I thought she's your friend. Well, I thought so too. And she can be my friend again afterwards. She just needs a reminder how to do it proper. We'll get in trouble. I'll only let her out when she promises not to tell on us. <sighs> this game is a massive yikes moment. Yeah, maybe. Do it, Andy. I guess. Hooray! You're the best! 
Today's episode is titled, Andy and Lele and the Bitch in the Box. One day you'll be a bitch in a box, and your friends will take turns pissing on the ground above. What do I do about these hussies around you? Where do you learn these words? The bitch is you. I'll take you out to play, and when I'm done, it's back in the box with you. I really ought to kick your ass one of these days. See, now that sounds like something a brother would say to his sister. What is taking him? He wouldn't have forgotten our plans, would he? Hmm. Finally! Huh? What are you doing here? Surprise! I want to hang out too! Oh. I mean, I guess that's fine. Say, did you tell your mom you're here? No. Why? Hehehe, <laughs> just wondering. Uh-oh. I mean, I'm surprised she let you come hang out with a boy. No way, she thinks I went to study with Julia. But why are you here, Ashley? Divine intervention. What's that even mean? It means she's full of crap. Don't listen. So, are we going inside or what? Is that allowed? I allow it. Let's find a way in right now. I'm starting to think Ashley is just, like, sociopathic. A steel mallet. I can't really think of a way a mallet would be useful in this situation. I, I sure can. I thought that said, I'm sure it can. As in, help us get in the warehouse. Okay, yeah, in that case, no. Ugh, Lele, I don't even want to know what you had in mind. What are you guys talking about? It's nothing. Uh, let's keep looking. The drop off on the other side of the window is too high. Though I wouldn't mind convincing Blank to jump anyway, to twist her ankles, maybe break her neck. Is something wrong? Nah, but we can't go in this way. Okay, so this girl is a sociopath. She's just nuts. Why'd they nail this metal sheet thing on the wall? Looks like there's a hole behind it. Perfect, tear it open. What? I can't do that. It's okay, I won't tell anyone. As in, I literally can't do it, dumbass. Not without some tools, at least. Huh, even though it's this flimsy? Yes. Uh, I like smart guys over beefy ones. Who asked? Well, I did just get the mallet. This hammer over here, maybe? Got hammer. Use the back of the hammer to pull out the nails. Hey, we go! <coughs> wow, it sure is <coughs> kind of dusty in here. Makes me worry about my asthma. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, I know! How about some hide-and-seek? Ugh, you're such a kid. Huh? Andy wants to play too. You do? What? Oh, yeah, sure. See? Well, I mean, it's fun every once in a while, I guess. You totally wanted to play too, you child. Uh, I'll be it. I'm gonna count to ten. Hundred! Count to hundred at least. Okay, okay. One, two... All right, let's find a good box to shove her in. You still want to do that? Of course. She said no one knows she's here. It's perfect. Lele. You promised. Now hurry up before she's done counting. Here's a big box. Oh, now this will do. There isn't any lock on it, though. Well, we don't actually want to lock her in. The hell we don't! Place a stick or something between the rings. That'll keep it closed. Won't the stick just break? No. Well, if she's hunched inside, I doubt she'd have the leverage to. Ready or not, here I come. Oh, crap. She counts too fast. It wasn't that fast, really. <laughs> Let's hide. Uh, hide in the box. Nope. Can't hide in the box. Hmm. This crate can't be closed. How about here? Am I hiding? You can't see me. 
Uh, I guess that doesn't count. Ba bum bum, boom ba da da. Where do we get a stick anyway? And he picks up whatever wooden debris is at his feet. I guess this'll do. Well... What do you think? Is she pretty? The stick? No, who do you think, dumbass? Ah, she's fine, I guess. Hmm. Found you! Both of you. Who hides in the same spot? Idiots. Haha. Uh, I it was my spot first. Then you're it. No way. Andy stole my spot, so he is it. Yes, yes, I'll go count. Andy goes to count outside. Hehe, <laughs> my hiding spots are the best. I know a really good one for you. Come, take a look. Um, okay. Don't do it. Don't do it, son. You don't want to lock her up in that box, son. Don't do it. Don't do it, son! You think I'll fit in here? Seems like a bad idea. How so? I'm gonna get my clothes dirty. Oh, boo-hoo. Who cares? My mom does. She'll get mad if I... Hundred! Oh, shoot. He's coming. Hurry, hurry! Uh, oh, okay? Hastily, your friend hops inside the crate. Oh, no. Yep. Huh? What was that? <laughs> I got you now. Blank is too weak to throw you off the lid. <coughs> this isn't funny, Ashley. Let me out. There you are, Andy, you slowpoke. Hurry up. She's putting up a fight. <coughs> I can't breathe. <coughs> she all right? <coughs> Please, I... Shut up already, you drama queen. Let her out, Lele. She's just pretending... No one's ever died from some dust. <coughs> Come on, just let her out. What, you believe her over me? It's not really about whether I believe her or not. Fine, you just let her out then. Who cares about me anyway? <coughs> everyone likes her better, but you like her better too. But everyone does. I already know. <coughs> I bet you'd rather have a girlfriend than spend time with me. Of course you would. Um, yeah, can you blame me? Oh, come on, I already told you, I don't want... And bet, bet you only hang out with me because mom told you to! Well, that's, I mean, maybe she did, but... <laughs> it's not fair, why does everyone like her better? I'm loud and weird and annoying and no one likes me at all! Maybe because you're loud and weird and annoying. Sounds like you understand it perfectly. I like you better, Lele. Prove it, liar. <sighs> I knew it. Maybe you'd have more friends if you weren't always so... Not even my own brother picks me over her. I knew it already. Did I not just say, la 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 la, talk sure is cheap. God damn it. <coughs> Ashley! <coughs> There. Are you happy now? <laughs> yes. Until just just until morning, okay? Yes, yes, you're the best. I like you the best, Andy. You hear that, Blank? You get to stay there until morning. No, please. <laughs> Let me out, please. <laughs> yeah, that's not safe. You would not want to lock a child in a in a suitcase until morning. Ashley, wait! <laughs> Don't go! Ashley, please! Ashley! That's evil. Ashley? Are you awake? I am now. Um... Okay. What is it? Nothing! It's just... God, what the fuck did we do? You're still on about dinner. Fine, just starve then. More for me! How are you like this? Are you out of your mind? Listen, I didn't kill the guy, so I didn't do anything wrong. You mutilated and ate a corpse. What else were we supposed to do? 
Call the warden and let him know he died? Ah, yes. Um, sir, he summoned a demon and then died. I swear we didn't do it. Yeah, I... We wouldn't have to admit we were there. You could have just told him to go check on the guy. Andrew, what the hell? What, what the hell? Didn't we both agree on this? I could have sworn it was your suggestion in the first place. I was too hungry to think straight, okay? I edge to your videos every day, keep them cooming. Listen, I know you're a, <laughs> I know you're a first time chatter, but you must be nuts. You must be wildin', okay? To come into my chat and say something like that. Are you nuts? Are you wildin'? Why would you say that to me? Why would you say that to me? While I'm trying to play the incest game, okay? I'm trying to play the incest game right now, if you don't mind. All right? So I don't want to hear it. Now that's some bullshit. But fine, let's assume it was so. What do you want me to do about it? I love the movie Cars. See, now, that, now that's something that I would like to see people say in my chat. Just tell me about your favorite Pixar films. You know? Whoosh, whoosh, there goes my magic wand. There, I've absolved you of your sins. You never took a bite now. You're welcome. Well, gee, thanks. We'll see how that holds in the face of the law. Listen, who cares? Uh... Isn't this like some extreme circumstances stuff? Like, we can't be excused? It's the water company's fault. First they lock us in for months, and then they won't even feed us. And is cabin fever a real thing? Yes. Maybe we can plead insanity. I don't know, Ash. <sighs> there, there, there. You know, I... I couldn't get his head off. Huh? Like, he didn't fit in the freezer proper. So I needed to chop his head off, but I couldn't cut it. His spine was too... Anyway, I kind of just... Ugh. Like, kept cutting around and then pulled it off. Like some plant. I don't know. I keep thinking about it. Ugh, I can't... fucking sleep, Ashley. It's... Come here. I don't know what's wrong with you. How are you so unbothered? I don't know. I compartmentalize. Kind of like how we compartmentalized that guy into different freezers. Ashley. <laughs> Andrew. What is it, Andrew? Andrew. Uh-oh. Andrew. Uh-oh. Andy. Oh, no. I. Oh, thank God. He just bit her. All right. Okay, just a bite. I told you to stop calling me that. We're not kids anymore. Then why are you crying like such a baby? Max, my favorite movie is Ratatouille. Can you sing something from Ratatouille? Ratatouille doesn't have songs in it. I'm not crying? Wah, wah, mommy, the big bad did the evil thing. You shut your whore mouth. That's one hell of a thing to say to your sister. Make me, you little bitch. <laughs> Forget this. Hey, Andy, remember when we used to go on adventures? Oh, see, it's just like Raggedy Ann and Andy. Uh, what? Andy and Lele's quests for something or, or, or another. Remember? Why bring this up? Isn't this just another one of those? Well, I don't know. Can't you just play along for now? Until we're out of this crappy situation? Then we can unpack it all later. Or not. I don't think I will, personally. But you can go to therapy. Like, I could tell a therapist what I've been up to. Alright, just a thought. Let's just get out of here. Like, we should have done months ago. Now that we've got food, don't you want to keep waiting until they let us out? Hell no, I don't. They throw us in jail right after. <laughs> Raggedy Andre and Lele. Yeah, exactly. And 
I don't know which is worse, withering in this coffin of a house or getting railed in prison. Oh, so you want to escape not only this quarantine, but the consequences of our actions as well. Preferably, yeah. This episode is titled, Andy and Lele and the Escape from the Coffin. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to sleep now. Good night, sleep tight. I'll try. Good night. I love you, Andy. Shove that Andy junk up your ass already. My god, I don't love you that much. Ugh, you make me want to kill myself. Too bad diving down the balcony is just too romantic for you. A pillow hits you in the face so hard you see stars. Ha 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 Your body has absorbed some delicious nutrients and you're feeling mighty better today. Hmm. So like I said, a little more flirtatious than I would prefer a brother and sister to be. Why are you in here? Hey there. Good morning. What you up to? I'm looking at this demon summoning instruction manual book thing. Brave! Given so given things turned out so well for that cultist guy. Debatable. I mean he was successful up to the point he lacked an offering. Anyway, it says here that demons don't think much of humans. Well, that's good. We'll have something in common then. Yeah, yeah, so they're only willing to do business as long as it's quick and easy for them. I take it you want to ask one to get us out of here. Well, I wouldn't want to get out of here the same way the cultists did. But I do think this is our best bet for now. So what will we ask from it? Well, I don't know yet. Okay, then what will we bargain with? I don't know that either. Nice. I, I just barely woke up. Give me a minute. It says here, demons prefer human souls, so obviously it's got to be that. Where to get a soul while stuck in here? What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Ashley. What? I wouldn't. Thought about it, I see. Let me keep my thoughts my own. Don't we already share enough? On second thought, let's not do this. Oh, come on. I'm not going to sacrifice you. We'll figure something out. Let's just set the ritual up for now. Let's not. Let's not set the ritual up. What's it need? I'm not done reading this yet, but you can start by replacing the candles for now. Got two candles. Got one candle. Hmm. No. No. No! Max, you are a streamer now. That's insanin. Yeah, kind of insanin. Hope you're doing good. Miss you videos. <sighs> well, thanks, buddy. And thanks for joining us today. So what I am thinking is they're going to have an incest thing just to have a soul. And if that's it, that's fucked up. Oh, so he's going to impregnate her so that she can have baby, and then they can use baby soul? Because I would agree that is pretty fucked up. Replaced candles. Minecraft has no incest. Can we go back to that? Well, it does if you have the right mods. Done. What now? Now we... Uh-oh. Still alive and kicking, are you? You've been quiet lately, pal. I'm getting a little worried here. Sigh. Yeah, hi. Hello. One of my guys isn't answering. The weirdo one. I think he croaked. But he's just a B-type anyway. <sighs> Fine. I'll check it after my round. The warden's footsteps now move away from the door. Is that all we would have had to do to get the door open? Just shut up for two days? Oh shit, he's gonna come in and see all this. No, 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 no. Enough, go stall him at our door. I'll clean this up. He's still gonna find the guy missing. Unless he checks the freezer, which is where all the blood is pointing at. No. Go before he notices we're not home. And I'll keep him until I've mopped up all the blood. 
Maybe then he'll assume the guy jumped off the balcony or something. There should be a corpse below then. You get to be that corpse if you don't get going already. Uh, and I have to mop up the... What are you going to do? Lick it clean? Get the mop, you dumb bastard. Alright, well, where's the mop? Mop back at my place? Okay. OMG, it's just like Undertale. I know. Cleaning the blood. Cleaning the blood. 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 Ashley, the warden is coming! Huh? What are you doing here? Oh, shoot. Sadly, the warden soon calls over his buddy. You get taken back to your apartment, after which you and your brother's wicked deeds are soon discovered. Guess what? It went so badly for you that I'm going to let you try again. Ashley, the warden is coming! Okay. Um... Hide here? Hmm. If I walk down there, does it trigger him opening the door? Yes. Hmm. Maybe use summoning circle to summon demon? Oh, in the closet. Greetings and salutations. It's okay, guys. Hit in the closet. Hit in the closet. It's okay. Anybody home? Hmm, guess not. Oh, great, another suicide. <sighs> what the? It's me, it's a girl. There's a girl in here. How did you get in here? Oh, no. Andy, no! Andy, you didn't have to do that. Sigh. Andrew doesn't seem too pleased with you right now. You wonder if it's a good time to tell him none of this is your fault. Come on then, Lele. Let's go play. Sheesh, I thought I got caught there. You did. Happens to the best of us. Let's go home. Me and Andy going home. Do we go to bed? What do we do now? Freezer is full of delicious meat. Yum, yum, yum. Hmm. Maybe we go back and fuck on the bed? We take his body? Nope. Warden is very dead. Well, you've done it now, Andy. You've actually killed a man. Like, directly. Yep. I was a little surprised there. <laughs> so where's your mental breakdown? I'm saving it for later. Lay off. Yeah, we'll see how you sleep after this one, huh? Ashley, I am not in the mood for your shit right now. I. Oh, looky here. You got key to room 405. Can I leave? At last, you unlock the door and... Oh, he's a lot taller than me all of a sudden. Before we go, Ashley... Huh? Just want to make sure we're on the same page about something. Whatever excuse we had for eating that other guy... Just went out the window because of your screw-up. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I ask you to kill him? What do you think was going to happen if I hadn't? 
Look, I'm not saying I'm not grateful, Andrew. I am. But what's your point? My point is no matter what happens beyond this door, you won't speak a word of what went down here. To anyone. Yeah, obviously. Is this game Nintendo certified? Yeah, I think so. I think it is. I think this is rated E for everyone. Obviously. And it'll no doubt be obvious we did something once this guy's shift ends and the next warden comes looking around. It's best to disappear while we can. Well, you might have noticed I'm trying. You see? I'm not sure you're grasping the gravity of our situation here. Knowing you, you think you're going to find mom and dad, but I'm saying all of that is off the table. I hadn't planned on anything yet, actually. God, that's even worse! I... Okay, so you want me to never contact anyone I know ever again? Because you think they'll snitch on us to the authorities? Is that it? Yes! Exactly! Fine, yeah, whatever. If you're going to be this flippant about this, it isn't the authorities we need to worry about. What's that supposed to mean? Are you threatening me? I am not going to jail just because you think of yourself as impervious to consequences. Really, this is what Andy should have been doing the whole time is threatening her. Putting her in her place. So you're going to take this to your grave even if I have to put you in there myself. You don't scare me, Andrew. Don't give me a reason to. Andy, it snows in hell the day I'm afraid of you. Now back the fuck off. Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> Segoy. It's... I'm stressed out, Lele. Yeah, I can see that. I need to know you're taking this seriously. There's half a dead guy in our freezer with my fingerprints all over it. Trust me, I'm in no hurry to tell the world about it. Hmm? All good? Can we go now? Yeah, I guess. Okay, finally. Though, Andy... What? I don't give a rat's ass about mom or dad. Or any of my so-called friends anymore. None of them felt it was necessary to even answer my calls. Or come fling food up at our balcony. It would be quite the feat to throw something so high. The point is, no one even came to try. So my affections officially died with all the brain cells I lost while starving. Ha! But it's alright, because Andy is here with me. Even though he feels like threatening me for some reason. Sorry. I guess I lost some brain cells too. Can't lose what you don't have. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get the hell out of here already. This is all it took to keep us in? A wooden board? It's okay, Andy. I don't have much muscle either. Your eyes say you're trying to comfort me, but your words do the opposite. Ah, whatever. What's this slip of paper say? The paper slip tied to... Taped on the door reads 2XAB. What's that supposed to mean? Don't know? Don't care. Yeah, let's focus on getting out of here. Unblocked the door. Note on the door reads 2 times A, 1 times B. Note on door reads 1 times O, but it's crossed over. Hmm. It just makes a sound effect. Got the key to room 302. Okay. Looky, they got a little surveillance camera. Oh crap, are we on it? No, looks like it's recording the second floor. Huh, let me see. Great, there's another warden there. Is that a gun holster? Did the warden we kill have one? Let's go shoot this guy. Nope. He only had the key to the cultist room and a walkie-talkie. Sigh. I think there's a warden on every floor. Nah, they probably work in pairs of two. It's not like they have to do anything else that... then keep curious people away. 
and pretend to feed us, I guess. Well, even then, how are we going to get around him? Don't ask me. Ah, there's a key here. Found the fourth floor key. Boom, ba, la, boom. It's the toilet. There's nothing of interest inside. Half-eaten cup of noodles. Note on the fridge reads, Notice! From now on, AB types won't be given supplies, except if it's someone important. And no, the lady from 302 being hot doesn't count as important. Stop asking. Okay. Y'all think the creator wanted to fuck his sister and created this game as an outlet for his frustrations? <laughs> yeah, maybe. You know... I still don't know if the game is supposed to be... If the game is going to be genuinely incestuous, or if that's just like a running gag. If that's the, uh, the running gag based strictly on the fact that they... They flirt pretty much constantly. Let's go to the third floor. I'm gonna hope that they don't fuck. I'm gonna hope that the brother and sister do not get fucky fucky. Note on the door says 2XB. Note on the door reads 1XA, but it's crossed over. Hello? Oh, hey! Another person. Lady. Hey, hey, hold up! Don't you dare come any closer. Who are you? Your neighbors from upstairs. What are you doing here? Get out! Well, we found the keys and thought you might want to get out of here. You thought wrong. Get lost. Huh? What, you don't understand? You don't want to get out of here? That's what I said. Why would I want to get out? I get free food. I can play games all day long. I live like a king. I hope this quarantine never ends. Wait, wait, they actually bring you food? Of course, literally anything I want. All you gotta do is ask nicely. Like bend over and open wide nicely? Ashley. Fuck you, get out, both of you. Hmm. Can I steal your stuff? The fridge is full of food. nail gun. Doodles and drawings. Hey, did I give you permission to go there? Well, leave before I make a scene. Okay, 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 I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Well, that was something. How come we got such different treatment? Why don't I get food? Because you're just not pretty enough. You think she's pretty? I mean, wasn't she? Whatever. Is it okay to leave her there after she saw us, though? Probably not, but you go in there swinging your cleaver and she'll definitely scream. Then the second warden comes in and shoots us. Ugh, this is so hopeless. I think our best bet is to finish the ritual and use it to get rid of the second warden. Hmm, well... If we can get this woman up to the cultist room, we've got us a soul to offer. How on earth are we going to convince her lazy ass to even leave her room? Beats me. Let's just finish setting up the ritual for now. Alright. Do you really think I'm not pretty enough? Oh, come on! So ugly am I that I shouldn't even... So ugly am I that I shouldn't even be fed? Or maybe they didn't think it'd be fun to screw you while I'm loitering around in the house. Oh, yeah, okay, fair point. And I wouldn't let them anyway. It's locked. Also locked. Also locked. Go to fourth floor. You double check if this warden also has a gun tucked away somewhere, but all you find is the walkie-talkie. Useless! I don't know, at least we'll hear if the other warden tries to contact this one. Which then indicates time is running out for us. Big deal, at that point we're screwed anyway. Hey, what if we call the warden over with this, then have the demon eat his soul? That's... 
Not a bad idea, actually. Two birds with one stone. Though he'll come in guns blazing. Oh, right. Uh, let me think. Got walkie-talkie. Well, while you're at it, I'll ready the ritual for us. What do I need to do? I don't remember. Check the guidebook. <sighs> Excuse me. So what's needed to finish the ritual setup? Draw some runes on the floor with blood. Not sure what runes, though. I'll just redraw what that guy had already drawn. Let's see. They seemed to work. To turn the music back on. The rune is faded. Okay, do I need some chalk? Max, drink some water. Why you hiccup so much? Two times, I'm counting. Hey, you know, let a man hiccup. I will have some water, though. Chalk, chalk, who's got the chalk? Yeah, Rudy's got the chalk. The chalk, Rudy, you gotta draw something! The chalk, Rudy, use the chalk! Not chalk, blood. Maybe use the blood of the warden? I could try that. I'll give the old college try. You dip your digits in one of the warden's wounds. Got blood! Hey, there we go. I have an idea. Oh? Let's have the lady from downstairs lure the warden up here with the walkie-talkie. And, uh, how are we gonna make her do that? You know how. Ha, <laughs> alright then. Let's go convince her. Or was there something else that still needed to be set up? Just lighting the candles and turning on the audio. But I think it's best to do that once the warden is on the way. Yeah, wouldn't want to keep the demon waiting. Okay, so we... Go to the third floor. Hey! You two again? Sorry, sorry, there's one last thing we forgot to ask you. What? I thought I made myself clear. Huh? What do you want? Hey, get off me! Oh no. <laughs> We're going upstairs, lady. What's going to happen now is that you'll coo with into this walkie-talkie. Uh-huh. Tell them that you and his friend are looking for a good time up in room 405. I, I don't understand. You only need to understand we'll slit your throat if you don't play nice. No, no, please, I'll do it. Don't, I'll tell him anything. We'll see. You press the walkie-talkie on. Uh, hello? Huh, who's there? Hi, Dave. It's me. Where's Malcolm? Uh, Malcolm's in here with me, room 405. Did you, uh, care for a quick visit? A quick visit, huh? I mean, if you want to have a good time, that is. <laughs> oh, I'll be. I'm always up for a good time, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Is it room 405? Well, I guess that weirdo really croaked. Um... <laughs> nothing. I'll be right there, sweet cheeks. You cut the conversation there. Alright, good. Let's go. I let go of her now. What do you think she'll do? I won't do anything. I promise. Go finish it. I'll keep her quiet until it's done. What? Get going, dumbass. Fine. Oh yeah, almost forgot. Lele, catch. Andrew throws you something. You got a lighter. You hurry back up to finish the ritual. Gonna light the candles. 
Okay. I think I'm almost done with this game. I'm going to guess it's not very long, so I might as well finish it up. Me when Max starts streaming. I'm going there, sweet cheeks. Yeah, exactly. So now, what am I supposed to... Uh-oh. Here comes the demon. <laughs> Here comes the boy. Hello, boy. Welcome. Who are you? I can't see. You are asking me my name, human? Uh. What do you offer? Ugh, yikes, did I mess up? I don't want to pay for its name. I'm here. It's kind of dark, huh? I'm not doing it with this kind of music on. Let's... Shocked, the warden reaches for his gun. It's him! I offer him! What? <laughs> and then warden is eaten by demon. So, uh, well, how is it? Human with tar-colored soul, I give you this. Got unidentifiable small object. Hold it for an occasional clairvoyant dream to gauge the troubles ahead. Thank you. The entity has left. I thought he was supposed to grant me a wish or something. I just get a crystal ball? And you're still alive, unlike either of the wardens. Man, that all happened way too fast. In the end, I didn't get its name, nor to ask for a favor. It just did whatever it wanted. And it definitely just gave me whatever trash was lying around in its demon pockets. But no matter, the warden is dead, and if I have even one clairvoyant dream, that'll be cool as hell. You decide not to linger on the fact your soul is apparently a vicious, pitch-black mess. You, I guess you already knew that. Yeah, I guess I did. You got key to second floor. You got gun. At last, time to shoot Andy. Just kidding. I'll probably shoot the lady, though. Go to third floor. Andy! Did you kill her?! Oh no, Andy! Andy! Damn it, Andy! I can't believe I leave you alone for five minutes. Sadly, your plans of splattering the lady's brains on the wall have been thwarted. Her corpse already rests on the bed. What happened here? She tried to shoot me with a nail gun. How on earth? I thought you were holding her in place. Well, I let go. Why? You were taking a while. I figured she wouldn't start anything as long as I had my cleaver. Lesson learned. How interesting. That you'd want to take your chances with that. For no reason. What are you getting at? You did say she was pretty. Uh, I didn't try anything with her. Yeah, yeah. And here I was wondering why you insisted on staying behind. Andrew shoots his load while I risk getting shot by the warden. Are you unaware that the lady is dead right now? I guess she said no. Screw you, Ashley. I almost got shot, too. That's your own fault for letting her go. God, I can't believe what a dumbass you are when it comes to women. For the last time, I wasn't trying to get with her. And even if I had, which I didn't, so what? She's dead now. Oh, okay. That makes it fine, then. Good to know. God, I hate it when you get like this. What's your problem? Fucking every time. Every time, indeed. Every time some fucking floozy comes around. Yeah, I'm not celibate. What's it to you? It's always the same with you. You get to dip your dick in some bitch, and the rest of the world disappears. Not true. Yeah, it is, cockbrain. Now is definitely not the time for this. I just need you to get your priorities straight. My priority right now? is getting out of here. Your priority should be me! 
Blow it out of your ass. I'm not having this argument here of all places. I... No, shut up. I didn't screw the neighbor lady. And on that note, will you back the fuck off of my love life, Ashley? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't know. It's not like my girlfriend dumped me after you harassed the hell out of her or something. What, she told you? What a tattletale. You're better off without loose-lipped <laughs> loose whores like that. Wait, this isn't Sonic Superstars. No, it is. This is a, uh... This is a secret minigame. This is a secret Sonic Superstars bonus level. Um... It's called Incest Simulator. And that's what's going on right now. You joined at just the right moment. So it really was you. Yeah, all I did was weed out a quitter for you. You're welcome. And I wouldn't harass anyone if you'd stop ignoring me when I need you. You always need something! You always have some bullshit crisis the moment I'm supposed to meet up with someone. Bet you bloody love it when- Oh, this was made by British people. <laughs> bet you bloody love it when- Bet you bloody love it here where I can't as much as take a piss without you knowing. That's one hell of a sentence. Ha, huh, I bet you'd love it if I killed myself then. Where'd that come from? Fuck. What a prime example of your- You! Just you! Ha 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 ha. You would. You would. I know it already. I'm right where you want me, huh? I'll do it then. I can, just for you. You know, I have just the thing for that. Back at your beck and call, just like it was way back when. What? No, screw you, Andrew. Don't act like I'm the bad guy here. My sister is like this? All right, well, you need to get away from your sister. Because if your sister is like this, then she's a... she's... Sociopathy and cannibally and incesty, and that is not a good sister to have. I've never once made you do anything, but it's always, I don't want to, I don't want to with you. Well, answer me this what do you want then? Well, see, if you'd have listened to a word I'd said, you'd know I. Why don't you want to spend more time with me anymore? I've done nothing but spend time with you for the past three months! So then why aren't we friends anymore? Of course we are, just... Forget this, can we just go? Just what? Just go! No, answer me, what were you about to say? Stay then, I'm going. Oh no you don't! What's so bad about me? I've been looking out for you, isn't that what siblings do? Just stop! What? Talk to me! It's not my fault! I didn't lock us up in here! I didn't kill the cultist! I didn't even kill the warden! Which one? Neither! You did! And the demon! I'm all innocent. I I've not harmed a single soul. Of course not. You make me do it for you! I didn't make you do shit, Andrew. You chopped that bastard up all by yourself. And you chose to do everything you've done here. And guess what, Andy? Don't. You chose to lock blank in that crate. Where the fucking cunt choked. <laughs> Cry yourself to sleep to that, Andy. My poor Andy. So, that just came out of your mouth. <laughs> what? It's true. You chose to do it. And you chose me. You chose me! ME! You backpedaling fuck of a brother! You chose me! You did! You did! Ah! So I guess we're not leaving here together. You can't do it! <laughs> you won't! You can't, cause... I'm the only one you can talk to! When you can't sleep at night, and you can't take it. I'm the only one who can make it go away. Fancy that, when you're the reason I can't sleep in the first place. I would like to go now. With Andy. I'm ready to go now. Go like Blank did? 
Of course not. I want to leave this apartment before we get caught. With you, can we go? I'd like to go too, but the thing is, you're pissing me off so much right now. We go now, and you'll just throw another fit later. Yeah, probably will. I'll make such a scene too. Yeah, so I don't know if I can risk it. Maybe I'll just end you here and be done with it. <laughs> Everybody in the chat is saying killer. Though if you can come up with a compelling reason not to, I won't. Well, I already said there are sleeping pills for that. Yeah, okay, I got nothing. But I'd like to go out with you very much. Though if you plan on ditching me anyway, then fuck you. If it's not going to be just the two of us, then forget it. <gasps> I don't... Give a shit about blank. I'm glad she choked. I know you are. No one knows it was us, so what does it matter? As long as it's just us, are you saying you'll behave? I'll behave if you behave. Isn't that how it goes? Who knows with you? Though I'm assuming we're getting out of here in the first place. <laughs> That's right. Our quest continues. What did we name this episode again? Andy and... Okay, but I'm not gonna be Andy anymore. Huh? He's so... spineless. And I hate Lele like you wouldn't believe. Huh? She better stay and die here with Andy. So you and I can leave. Fine. <laughs> this game is making me unironically uncomfortable. Yeah, like I said, I've gotten the I've gotten the sense that I don't want to throw shade. I don't know who made this. I don't know if it's someone that I should avoid throwing shade at. Um, but it does seem like maybe the person who made this game is a bit of a weirdo. Um, this is the same game that got a 99% positive review. Well, there are a lot of weirdos out there. I mean, think about it. So far, we've gotten Vor. We've gotten... Brother and sister flirtation. Like, you know, it's kind of just hitting on all the marks. It was made by a starving African child on his deathbed. How could you? Well... Contrary to popular belief, starving African children are some of the biggest proponents of incest. Whatever that means in practice. I like you, but you're so exhausting. Nonsense. I'm invigorating. Let's leave and never revisit this conversation. Yes, I've got keys to the second floor, and also the warden's gun. I'm surprised you didn't shoot me yet. <laughs> Maybe later? <laughs> Let's get out of here, Andrew. Hey, shrimp, shrimp fried psyop. Welcome to the chat for the first time ever. Thanks for joining us today. And April Samurai One, another first time chatter. Thanks for joining us. Playing brother and sister incest game. Opinion on large rats? Uh, I like them. Rats. Rats. Oh, yeah, the rats. We eat at night. We stalk at night. Oh, yeah, the rats. I'm the big rat that makes all the rules. Let's see what kind of trouble we'll get ourselves into. Aha! Look, an open window. Great. Jump. Tempt me not, Andrew. I mean, it is only the second floor. You really don't want to take your chances with that. Damn it. Is there like a rope or something we can use to climb down? Um, if I was trapped in a building and I'd been there for three months and we were running out of food, I think I might take my chance jumping out of a second story window. I wouldn't jump out of a third story window. But a second story jump is a little more manageable. Um, you could definitely like break an ankle though. 
But also that woman that we her apartment we were just in. Um it said her fridge was full of food. So can we steal food from her? Hey Max, I saw Raggedy Ann and Andy a musical adventure thanks to you. Not a girl's toy is such a good scene. Isn't it a fun little movie? Isn't it like really sweet and cozy? Could watch that movie a million times. Okay, we're not going out that way, I guess. Elevator is out of order. Go to fourth floor. I'm not sure where we're supposed to be going or what we're supposed to be doing. Is it actually incestuous? We're trying to figure out. We're trying to find out. Although I do have to admit, Raggedy, and, Raggedy Ann and Andy is a little incestuous too. It's a little incesty. Like throughout that movie, they will not stop touching each other. They're always putting their hands all over each other. Various documents detailing the selling and acquiring of organs. I sincerely don't care. Let's just get out of here, please. I'm working on it, goddammit. I think they're autistic. Yeah, maybe. Oh, they're a little bit autism -y. So far, it's a very interesting game. I really like the dialogue, and the characters are cool, if sus. Yeah. What if we climb down the window using this carpet? I'm not sure how we're going to secure it, though. You hold it while I descend. Oh yeah, and I'll just jump into your arms once you're down. Would that actually work? Maybe if you catch me instead? Hell no it won't! We've got to set up something to hold the carpet in place while we climb down. Well, let's leave it by the window for now. Got carpet. Okay... So... I need something heavy. Heavy to put on window. No, not that. Are these all locked? All these? Yep, that's locked. 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 God, I'm starting to get hungry, you guys. Dead as stone. Your happiness is immeasurable. Coolsies. Got nail gun. Looks like someone gave up assembling their furniture. <sighs> hmm. Bathroom? I already checked. There's nothing there. Snooping around a lady's bathroom, were you? I had to wash her blood off of me. Oh, right. Excuse accepted. Thanks? God, I'm hungry. I'm a hungry ass man. Where's some takeout? We wait. No, I got. Uh, I'm having salmon for dinner. Salmon, asparagus, and brown rice. The two of you use the nail gun to nail the carpet onto the wall. It doesn't look safe. There has to be something else. I'm going for it! If nothing else, maybe the carpet slows my descent down. I mean, I guess? 
All right, you first then. Damn right I go first. I am a lady. You climb down very unladylike. Hey, we're free! We're out! What now? Bro, how has she not told him about the demon encounter yet? She has a damn amulet, for Christ's sake. Yeah. Yeah, that's a thought. So what happens now? Well, what happens now is that we'll skip town. And then find a buffet restaurant. Ooh. And then we'll steal someone's identity or something to continue our lives. Easy peasy, huh? And then, as long as we never come in contact with the law enforcement, we'll live a quiet life and die. You've got it all figured out. Good God, I have no idea what we're going to do, Ashley. First things first, skipping town and the buffet. Let's go to a real touristy location. Maybe some traveler will drop their ID. And we'll rent a place using that. I'm sure we'll find some grunt work there, too. I... even then, I don't think that's going to... Shut your mouth, shut your mouth. It'll all work out, lest we'll live under a bridge or something. Like trolls. We'll eat those who won't pay the troll, pay the toll to cross. Well, you know, they say you gotta pay the troll's toll to get into that boy's hole. How can you laugh? It's anything but funny. How can you do anything but laugh? Everything has gone to crap. <laughs> Keep it together. I am. Let's start by catching a bus. I'm happy. I'm happy to be out of there, too. And otherwise? I'm a hair away from a panic attack, thanks for asking. I didn't get to tell you before, but the friend I called while you were downstairs gave me a gift. Do I even want to know? Supposedly, I should be seeing visions of the future in my sleep now. But who knows? Well, I hope you do. It would be handy when it comes to avoiding certain things. Yep, so you can relax a bit. I'll, I'll keep my sleeping eyes open. But that also means you can't leave now. You're stuck with me. Nothing new under the sun. Stuck, huh? Are you? Oh yeah, completely stuck. Hee <laughs> hee. You get on a bus and drive the hell out of here. End of episode one. Want to save or something? Save. Well, I think that's a good place to call it quits for the day. Um, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get food. Like I said, I'm hungry. Um, I don't know... I don't know what I can eat. What do I have lying around that I can eat while I'm waiting till dinner? Because it's still only... Eh, it's only like five, like a like 5.45, almost 5.45. So I don't want to eat dinner yet, but I, I'm also too hungry to wait. And I didn't have a lot to eat today. All I've had is like some oatmeal. And, uh... Yeah. Finish up what's left of your lunch. No, I don't, because I'm done with that for today. You're done with that. What kind of hijinks will these kids get into today? They're not kids. Stop saying they're kids. I'm gonna try full screen today. Now, if at any point you think, this is weird, they're kids. They're not! This game is weird and perverse, but it's not that bad, okay? She is 20. He is 22. Max, I gotta say, your little Bing Bing song is absolutely wonderful. Wonderful! Super Mario Brazazu Wanda. I wonder if they will say Bing Bing. I was watching a Nintendo keynote, and uh, the guy comes out, and he's like, Please, take a look at this Bing Bing. And he <laughs> opens his hand, and there's a little Bing Bing in his hand. No, please take a look at this Yahoo. Episode 2, Graves! You are finishing up what's left of your lunch. 
The consequences of your actions have yet to catch up with you, which is nice. There's nothing interesting in the paper, right? I'm not done reading. It's been a week. The odds that there's something now are non-existent. Just let me check. Ugh, I'm bored. How much longer can we stay here anyway? We're almost out of money. Technically, I have money. Just can't use it without giving away where I am to the bank. So no money then. And I don't get why they want to check my ID for every fucking thing. I don't know if that needed to be hyphenated, but whatever. Like, goddamn, I just wanted to stay at a, at a hotel. Why do you need to know who I am? I'm paying up front, aren't I? So it's not like I'd bail out on them. Boo-hoo, the motel is just fine, too. It's really not. I swear I heard gunshots last night. Or was that just you? I haven't shot anything. Yet. Ah. What? I think I left my gun back in the room. I really wish you'd be less nonchalant about everything all the time. Hey now, we can't both be constantly shitting ourselves over every little thing. True, let's just get back to the motel before someone breaks in and steals the damn thing. Okay, they're still not moving their legs, but it's fine. Hello. Are you looking for something specific? Nah, just window shopping. Oh, in that case, may I interest you in leaving me the fuck alone? Wow! That's how you talk to a customer? Jeez! You should be fired for that. Fuck off from there. You are the meanest witch. Just an innocent brother and sister. Just an innocent, incestuous couple. And you're being mean to me. You're saying fuck you to me? An ad for a coffee shop. It is difficult to imagine the aroma of a warm cup of coffee with trash rotting right next to you. That's fair. Hello, Mr. Demon. I've watched your vids for years, but I always wanted to know, why are you bald? Um, and then you got run over by a car. Just kidding. Get off the road, stupid. Uh, why am I bald? I don't know. Because I shaved my head? Uh, honestly, I could go for a shave right now. TBH. TBH! The vending machine offers all kinds of enticing possibilities to waste your money on. No thanks! This isn't the room you're staying at. And thank God for that. A putrid stench wafts from within. Hmm. Are you tired of living? Inquires the ad. Ask your doctor if euthanasia is right for you. Wow, edgy! Whoa! A soft drink ad. There are three new and exciting flavors, limited time only. Try them now or miss out forever. Oh, caramelized apple and cinnamon. I want to try that. We can't afford any nonsense right now. Oh, come on. It's just a couple of bucks. You can have that or you can have dinner. It's up to you. Oh, this sucks. It's limited time, too. I'm sorry, Ash. Ash, I'm sorry. Not now. I'm trying to catch the news. There isn't going to be anything about us in there, no matter how many times you check. Whatever. Did you find the gun yet? Also, pack your things. We have to leave in the morning. Is this where we're going to have brother-sister sex? It's the paper from a few days ago. There's nothing worthwhile written on it. The paper isn't even comfortable enough to wipe your ass with. All in all, a total waste of money. There's no pillow. Leave it to Andrew to insist on getting a room with two separate beds. Um... Only to then have a panic attack every other night. Andrew has been hoarding newspapers ever since you arrived. Yeah, if your brother doesn't want to sleep in a bed with you, that's more normal than you realize, young lady. Coffee shop bun, thanks for subbing. I love having you here. 
closet is empty except for reclaimed your gun. Though it's not really yours anyway, but whatever. The warden's gun is now yours. There's an article about a chemical leak in some city you've never been to. The article details instructions for people in the area to stay home and to seal their windows. Hazmat workers will be sent to rescue people block by block. Hey, get your fat ass out of the way! Ass? I think you meant my awesome fat tits, you cocksucker. Totally normal thing for a sister to say to her brother. Move, you cow! Whatever, wanker. This game must be British. I suppose I should throw these in the washer while I still can. Well, I do believe they're teenagers. They're not! They're not teenagers, they're adults! You guys think I would be playing a game about teenagers? You throw the laundry in the washer. A motel would not have its own washing machine in your room. Bullshit they're adults? The game says 20 and 22. All done, you're welcome. Great, thanks. I really am such a sweetheart. You're so damn lucky to have me. Yeah, yeah. I cook, I clean, and I'm a feast on the eyes. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, what do you do? What do you do? Watch TV all day like a slob. Stop touching him. Knock it off. You're not gonna be in the news, Andy. <laughs> I should have known. Oh, what are you going to do about it, Andy? Gonna choke me out again, are you? Are you? Do you want me to? Oh, come on. I'm kidding. It's all in good fun. I thought we were fine. We are. I'm just messing around. It's just a nickname. Get over yourself. It's the only thing I asked of you. And it's symbolic, dumbass. You and your romanticism, shove it up your ass. I don't know what I was expecting. Listen, I'm behaving. What more do you want? I'm being so good to you. You are? Because I'm getting the opposite impression here. Yeah, yeah, you think I'm so awful, huh? Why are you always touching him? Keep your hands to yourself, Ashley! Jeez! You wanna see what it's like when I actually misbehave? No! I could be so much worse. Should I show you just how awful I really am? No, 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 no. Go for it. Though you're going to find me a lot less accommodating than Andy. And now to some less important news. Hey, this could be us. One of the quarantine apartments has had a bit of a situation. Nothing major, just a fire that burned the whole place down. Everybody died. Yes, everybody. A representative of the water company is here with us today. Is there anything you'd like to add? Yes, my deepest condolences to the family members of the deceased. This apartment was most definitely not a wholly mismanaged mess better burnt to the ground. Therefore, it is so sad that this happened. To ease that sadness, we recommend you try Toxic Soda. We just rolled out three new and exciting flavor. Excuse me, sir. Something seems to be going wrong with your microphone. I'm sure you mean to say drink our trusty Bubbly Popply, which happens to be our sponsor. And it doesn't even make your organs bleed out of your ass, unlike some alternatives. Do, do a Ren Hoek impression? Anyway, that was all for now. Tune in again later for more wholesome news to cheer up your day. That was our apartment, wasn't it? Also, was that Ren from Ren and Stimpy? Oh my god. Was being the correct tense, indeed. Did I leave the oven on? It said everybody died. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Um... They must think we died too, and all that evidence of our escapades, let's say, has been incinerated. I wonder about that. <laughs> I told you it'll all work out. This is, yeah, I mean, that's, this is really like a best case scenario, isn't it? 
It's just like the ending of Office Space, isn't it? It's try hard writing without actually trying hard. Do the Ren voice over Ashley? Um, that still leaves us homeless and just about penniless. Whatever! Things are clearly going to sort themselves out! I'm gonna get some sleep. Good night! I'm gonna stay up a bit longer. Maybe the late night news will have more information on the fire. Suit yourself! I can't. I can't keep doing that. It'll, it'll scratch up my throat if I do that for too long. Uh, do I just go to bed? Can I leave? No, I can't leave. Don't come in, you idiot! I am taking a shower! Was this made an RPG maker? Oh. The music stopped. It seems like it was made an RPG maker, but I, I really don't know. If it was, that's a funny coincidence, because we've been playing RPG maker games lately. Oh! There goes the music! Alright, I'm going to bed. As usual, you fall asleep without a care in the world. Uh oh. Someone has entered the room. <laughs> Did that someone stab us? <gasps> Andy, wake up. Somebody stabbed us in my dream. Andy, wake up. We've got to go. Uh, mm -hmm. Get up. I had a vision. We're about to get killed. We've got to go now. Oh, that's right. She has visions. Where are we going, though? The park is this way, but there's nothing interesting there at this hour. Hmm. Oh, Ashley. Why are you so weird? So, want to stay here and see if the killer actually shows up? What did I do to deserve deserve to get murdered in my sleep for anyway? Might be might be a bit risky staying here. You don't know which direction they came from, right? Assuming anyone shows up anyway. They will, I'm sure. And so you stand there and wait. And wait. And wait. Andrew lights up his fourth cigarette. Another one? Way to blow money. Blow it out your ass. I'm bored and cold. You're probably cold because that crap messes with your blood circulation. Okay, mom. Makes you impotent too, by the way. Didn't sound like I'd be meeting any girls anytime soon anyway. What's stopping you? <laughs> Arg! I said enough! Oh, see? She cares about me. She didn't want me to smoke. <sighs> if the art isn't terrible, that's probably the only solid part of this. Well, like I said earlier, it to me it has like some kind of very schlocky appeal. It's hard to describe it. There's something there's something about it that reminds me of being a teenager. Um and consuming media like this unabashedly without realizing at the time uh, like how how schlock it was I don't know I don't know if I'm making sense to you guys quiet you <laughs> quiet you <laughs> I thought we were hiding coomer bait yeah it's also coomer bait a cultist lucky for you it wasn't the guy who you're expecting to come slit your throat though he sure looked familiar anyway didn't we eat that guy don't say that out loud. Oh, sorry. Didn't we chop that guy up and store him in our freezer? Ashley, come on! <laughs> Seriously, though, I guess there's more where that came from. Where do you suppose he was off to? Why, a sex and drugs party with demons, duh. Why are you asking me? Whatever, should we follow him? But I'm trying to see if my vision comes true or not. It's not like we both have to be here. Ooh, excuse me. 
Very burpy right now. You really don't want to stand here alone in the middle of the night. But you're also curious about what that this cultist look-alike is up to. Ugh, fine. You go. But come back soon. You are Andrew. That seemed a little unnecessary. I've been switching back and forth between them this whole time. Never said this is Andrew before. Max, we don't want you to smoke. We care about you. Don't do it too much, boss. I'm not smoking. Wait, hold the door, please. Run, sucker, run. The elevator leaves before the third cultist can board. Ha 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 ha! Curse you, brats! Weird. Weird. Mixed waste. Staff only, it says, and it's locked. Recycling point that seems to double as a smoking area. Cardboard recycling, apparently approved by the devil if the graffiti on the wall is anything to go by. It's asking for a passcode. Oh, I sure don't have that. Shoot. Passcode, passcode. Max, you ate something, definitely. Share right now. Well, I have a thing of a... Uh... A little thing of donut bites. Are you guys jealous of my delicious donut bites? My chocolate donut bites? Because you can't have any. You're gonna have to go get your own. Oh, good. You're not going after all. What? I am. I just. Did you see which way he went? To the alley, right? You know, this way? This way? No, you can't go that way. Hmm. Hmm. Running out of different options. Keep hoping that. There'd be something useful in these papers, but there never is. Hmm. A few Max, I want some donuts now. But I don't want my dad to get me some because he is busy. Well, you could get them yourself, you lazy ass. You ever think of that? Stop ordering your poor elderly dad around. I'm 15 and home alone? Okay, well, that's not something you should... That's not information you should reveal on the internet, genius. You shouldn't reveal either of those things. Max, what do you think of No Shave November? Well, this year I'm doing No Shit November. Gonna try to make it the whole month without shitting. Asking, alright, well what about 666? Since it's written on the fucking wall. The elevator arrives. Wow! Of course. I don't know why I even entertained the idea of it being anything else. Yeah, just write your passcode right next to the, uh, the place where you enter the digits. Huh? What? Who let you in? Sorry, was I not supposed to be here? This is a private event. Shoo! Shoo! Is this the sex and demons party? Well, what? I hope not. My wife would kill me. What the hell are you talking about? There's no such thing. I do have a wife. No, there's no demon sex party. Oh, well, just regular demon summoning then. I mean, that's what I was told, but... Listen, who the hell invited you? You're not even dressed properly. Right, sorry, I didn't know there was a dress code. I don't know who told you about today, but you can go kick rocks. 
Alright, I'll go. No harm done. I can't believe this! They literally invite anyone these days, huh? That just means Six Eyes is getting popular. We should be glad. So I'm guessing our neighbor was part of these guys' little club. We're pretty far from home, though. Maybe they gather at multiple locations? Can these guys actually summon demons, though? Um, well, you did see it happen. So that shouldn't be th that out of the ordinary at this point. I mean, our neighbor managed it eventually, but... You decide you should get inside somehow and find out. Eh, what do I care what those clowns are up to anyway? You decide that if a way forward doesn't strike you before you're done with your smoke, you'll just call it quits. And then, just as you're putting your smoke out, there's a key under the cigarette butt jar. You mean the ashtray? <laughs> yeah, that's what we would typically call an ashtray. The top layer is full of cake. Lower has some paper cups. Someone has left a note. It reads, To whomever ate my casserole, I will have your head on a plate. Ah, the office life. Same shit, different toilet. What's with the cakes? It's a bit late for a work meeting. Uh-oh, someone's coming. The elevator is coming up. Um, uh, 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 uh. Do I just leave? Ugh, this is gonna take two trips. Grumbling as he goes, the cultist takes one of the carts down the elevator with him. I know what let's do. Oh. Remove paper cups from the cart. You could certainly squeeze yourself into the cart now, but you'd also be seen instantly. Do I use towel? You pull down one of the curtains. Yeah. You wrap yourself in the curtain like a ghost and stuff yourself inside the cart. <laughs> hmm. Now you have free paper cups? Yeah, I guess so. The cultist hastily shoves a piece of cake into his mouth. Oh, Dark Lord, that is good. He carts you into the elevator. How is this cart so much heavier than the others? <gasps> Could it be? The weight of my sins? No! Okay, okay, be cool. No one has to know. It's between me and the devil. Just act normal. D did I miss it? Shh! Can't see anything from here. Ahem! Who's this tall drink of water? Hmm. Well then, everyone, the ritual is all set up. Now I know you're all excited about the free coffee, but first things first. All together now. Show yourself, Lord of Unknown. This is such fun. Reveal yourself to us, Lord Unknown. The cultists keep calling for Lord Unknown for a while. But it's becoming increasingly clear nothing is going to show up. Wow, look at this amateur hour. My Ashley summoned something on her first try. Though that's probably not a good thing, is it? I feel Lord Unknown is with us today, but only in spirit. Um, I I brought the carts down. But someone stole one of the cakes. I, I don't know who. Ooh, can we have some now? <sighs> yes, please enjoy yourselves. Oh, he sees me. Where are your robes? Uh... Sorry. The thing is, I spilled some coffee on them. <laughs> idiot. Not to call me an idiot, but... Now that you've got your answers, you miss Ashley. Hmm. Can I talk to you? Hee <laughs> hee, I'm on a stage. It's like I'm famous. Yeah. She has begun singing. People are staring. Time to get out of here. Okay. Well, you know what? I think you're a star. I think you're great. Wow, someone is underdressed. He's too busy eating cake to care. 
These cheap asses offer milk for coffee for the coffee instead of cream. Also, the beer they sell tastes like piss. Not that I ever drank piss. Well, say something. Converse. Where'd you hear about this gathering in the first place? The occult magazine I'm subscribed to had an ad. I figured it was going to be lame, but thought I'd come check it out since I don't live too far away. What about you? Same. Anyway, I gotta go. It was nice talking to you. See you next time. What next time? I thought she didn't like it here. It should be fine to take two pieces, right? Look how many there are. Yeah, pal. You just keep telling yourself. Can you move? You're in the way of the... The panel thing. The buttons I have to push. Hmm. I guess he won't move. Oh, I can walk in here. Okay. Hey, guys. Hey, didn't we already tell you to beat it? Oh, are they done? Did the summoning... How did the summoning go? Ugh, no! Look, man, you're ruining the whole vibe with that get-up! Yeah, you can't come in here dressed like this again. The whole point is that we don't know who's who. You know what? I think you're right. Shame on me. I'll leave right away. Um, uh, good. Just don't let this happen again. Have a good night. Oh, Ashley, who's that pretty girl in that spooky haunted mansion? You better know her name, that bitch is Ashley. Are you done snooping on the cultist? Yeah, so there's apparently a little cultist club where they all gather around for some demons and treats. But they can't summon for shit. Absolutely nothing showed up. Nothing showed up on this end, either. I don't understand. It was a vision for sure. There was, like... You hear a car. Uh-oh. It... Th that's... That's him! That's the guy who slit our throats in my dream! Hmm. Yikes. He really just went into our room, just like that. You still doubted me? Where do you get the key? Should we just leave? We're supposed to vacate the room in the morning anyway. Our stuff is still in there! What stuff? We sold off most of the junk you were hoarding. I can live without the trash and laundry. Mm, you do need laundry. You need clothes. That's a necessity. <laughs> the clothes you're wearing now are gonna get dirty real quick. Well, like someone pointed out, we can't keep wasting money buying new clothes. I am not risking my life getting in there to rescue your socks. It's my better bra, actually. This new one sucks. Still not interested. In fact, I'm somehow even less inclined now. Scoff. You know nothing of my troubles. Regardless, I think we have to kill that guy, though. This is no random burglary. He's specifically after us for whatever reason. Like, somehow he tracked us down. So even if we run away now, won't he keep coming after us? That's not wrong, but... Arg! And why is he still in the room? We're not even in there! Well, if I was him, I'd figure out... I'd figure we're out getting food or something. So now he's probably waiting to kill us upon entry. Unlikely, since he wants to go about this quietly. Um... Hmph. He's definitely hiding in the closet or something, waiting for us to go back to sleep. Then he'll kill us in our sleep, just like in my vision, again. And you know this how? I know because that's what I'd do, duh. Plus he's using a knife, so there. Listen, Andrew, just trust me. I've thought these things through. You question not why she's... You question not why she's thought about such things. That is a horrible way to structure a sentence. <sighs> I wonder what ending he gets. Does this game have multiple endings? Because if it does... I hope I get a good one. Now enough dilly-dallying. Let's get in there and pretend we forgot something. And then we'll lure him somewhere less conspicuous. And then what? You have to ask. Sigh. All right, leave this to me. Girl power. This has got to be the stupidest thing we've done so far. 
Personally, I think shooting fireworks indoors was dumber, but hey, opinions. Which, if I may add, was also your idea. I was 12! You should have stopped me! So, should I talk you out of this one, or... No, shut up and follow my lead. <coughs> you are Ashley. Alright. Go, jeez. Go, video game! Oh yeah, he's definitely hiding. I have to go now. Bye, Max. And everyone else, see you in the next stream. Hey, take it easy, pal. Thanks for joining us. No one has stepped forth to kill you yet. Oh gosh, jolly, Andrew. I just realized our impromptu night walk to the store has left me parched. I'm parched! Is that so? Let us return to the gas stop at once. And since we want to be oh so quick about it, let's take a shortcut through the park. Where we may frolic amongst the foliage, shielded from sight. How's that sound, huh? Terrific, let's go. Not so fast. Let me grab my things first. I just realized that I don't trust the staff here. Given that you're about to roam about with a hitman around, would you like to save the game? Sure. Did it work? It doesn't tell me if it worked or not. I'm gonna assume that's working. Um, where is Hitman? Got washed laundry, yeah. Is he in the closet? Oop. Well, congratulations, you found the Hitman and died, which is the best part. For the record, Andrew doesn't fare much better. When it comes to cutting people up, the hitman whoops his amateur ass dead. Though given his romantic streak, he probably didn't want to live without you anyway. I bet you'd be happy about that if you weren't too fucking dead to feel anything. The hitman wins, and... Did the hitman draw that? Hmm. Interesting. Ah yes, the world is much better off without you. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. However... This is also anticlimactic. You get a free do-over. All right. Why did it ask me to save if it was just gonna let me do over anyway? Hey, I got my clothes. Holding the door open for me, are we? What a gentleman. Just letting in some fresh air and the sounds of the city. Hurry up and get your things already. I already did. Go this way? Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is car? The hitman's car. The car is locked. This is that guy's car, right? Want to break in? And wake every single person on the premises? Why on earth would you want to do that? Huh? I thought you wanted to, you know, off the guy? The last thing we need is an audience. Oh, right. Cars have alarms. Hey, at least I asked before doing it. Oh, Ashley. Is he coming after us or not? I don't know. I thought he would. Let's pick a corner we can ambush him from. What corner? It's all bushes. Who's that pretty girl in that spooky haunted mansion? You gotta know her name. That bitch is Ashley. An abandoned shopping cart. Very classy. An attempt, or several, has been made to place the trash where it belongs. So close! They were all so close, but couldn't quite stick the landing. Her, her, her. Here, this tree will hide us nicely. What are we gonna do if he just stays at the motel? Well, I guess we'll just have to leave then. We'll grow eyes on the back of our heads and keep watching over our shoulders at all times. Ugh, what a pain. I can't believe I'm actually hoping he'd show up now. Good, don't feel bad about murdering a murderer. And on that note... Not it! Question mark, question mark, question mark? You giveth me gun? You're making me do it again? 
Dude only has a knife. You've got this. Ah, I hear footsteps, I think. Ashley, wait. I've never fired a gun. Crap, I think he stopped. I can't hear anything anymore. You can't ambush a killer that's waiting to ambush you. And you can't very well start looking for him either. Not without letting him know that you were... Letting him know that you know he's here. Crap, did, it, did we whisper too loudly? Is he on to us? Why'd he stop? To see what we're up to? But this all looks suspicious as hell. This doesn't look like anything. He shouldn't even be able to see us from behind this. An idea hits you then. Oh, you dirty boy. No, we can't do it here. Huh? Tee hee, off I go. Come and find me. I don't want to, question mark. Ashley, seriously, I don't know how this thing works. No peeking. You are Andrew. Typical Ashley bullshit. Time has come to play hide and seek with a killer and Ashley. Oh, sister. Don't you want to come out and flirt with me? Nothing at all. Don't you want to come out and talk about death and, and knives and shit and being a creepy goth weirdo? Nothing. I know you like that stuff. Here? Oh, oh god, it's just you. What are you doing, you absolute... Shh! You didn't find me, keep looking. Do you want to die? What if he sneaks up on you, or... Shoo! Shoo! Leave! Okay, I didn't find her. I'm gonna pretend I didn't find her, because what I'm really looking for is the killer. There he is! Shoot! Did... Is he dead? Nice work. Ashley reclaimed her gun. Dude, you emptied the whole thing. I panicked. This thing is useless now. Ooh. Well, I mean, no one knows it's empty. <sighs> I guess so. Do they sell bullets to just anyone? Or do you need a license or something? I have no idea. Sorry, Ash. Although I wouldn't have wasted them all if you hadn't made me shoot him. Are we still playing the finger-pointing game? I thought we agreed to leave that behind. Let's just get out of here before someone sees us. Oh yeah, what the fuck was that? What was what? You running out of the blue. What? You needed an excuse to start rummaging through the bushes. Now that the hitman thought you were looking for me, he sat there waiting to kill you. He didn't know you had a gun and would kill him instead. I am a bloody genius. What if he was in the bush you ran off to, huh? Genius? Well, he wasn't. Arg. Quit your bitching. It all worked out. Clue me in the next time you have these genius ideas. So that I can tell you off. Ha 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 ha, I'm a girl. You are Ashley. Who's that slutty whore in that filthy little mansion? You better know that name, cause she's Ashley. Just go back to our, our room now, or what? Hmm, you know, it wouldn't, it would have been pretty smart of me to steal his car keys before coming here. It sure would have. I'm dumb as a stone. What's your excuse? Alas, I am at the mercy of thy whims, darling sister. Well, you should read my mind then, goddammit, because I'm a girl. And that's what I expect men to do. Haha, <laughs> my bad. Must be the lack of sleep. I'm sure he's still right where we left him. Or not. Or yes. Do we just leave him here? Why not? As long as no one saw us do it, who's gonna have a clue it was us? Hell, this guy carries knives with him. He's clearly a criminal. Maybe the authorities will assume his friends got to him or something. Ever the optimist. Ah, whatever. Let's just go before someone comes to walk their dog or something. Got car keys. Oh yeah, baby. Leave those fingerprints all over the guy. That's just great. 
I'm sure you meant to say something else. I guess it doesn't matter since you've never gotten your fingerprints taken. Have you? Yeah. Ugh, motherfucker. What for? My driver's license. Well, good thing it's manhand it's me manhandling this corpse then. Hmm. I really hope he gets that ending. Um I hope I don't get that ending. I hope I get the good ending. <laughs> if there is such a thing. There's an envelope with various papers inside. The most notable one reads, Dear Mr. Washing Machine, consider this a receipt for your cleaning services. We're extremely grateful that you've accepted to clean our laundry for us. And we're so confident in your services that we will not be needing any progress reports. In fact, please do not contact us. If anyone were to ask, the less we know, the better. As a bonus, we've included free samples of all our new soda flavors from our sister company. Happy washing. Are we the laundry? Seems that way. <laughs> Yikes. Do you want to drive? Take the car and go. Vroom, vroom. So where to? Um, could you elaborate? We're off to somewhere, right? Got the car and everything now. This isn't exactly the best situation to go joyriding, joyriding in a stolen car. We barely have enough money to feed us. Fine, let's go take mom's... For fuck's sake, does everything I say go in one ear and out the other? We're never going to talk to anyone we know ever again, remember? You can talk to your mom. Did I say squat about talking to her? Let's go rob the bitch blind and leave. What money do you think she has exactly? I'm sure she's got something. Well, if you're just going to her to rob her, you could rob anyone. It doesn't have to be your mom. But also, you could probably just talk to your mom. If the building burned down that you, in which you killed those people, then that means there's no evidence against you. That means there's no one suspecting you of doing anything illegal. And that means you don't have to be in hiding anymore. Right? Sell the car for a meal at Waffle House? Uh, yeah, maybe. Can we just talk to our mommy? I wish. I thought she inherited some jewelry from Grandma. Well, yeah, but she can't sell those. She can't, but I sure can. Ah, uh, no. We still can't go over there. Why not? We've got pursuers or something. Our parents' place is definitely something they've looked into. Listen, Andy. Wrong! Andrew, the pursuer, is taking a nap in the park right now. Do you honestly think you're anywhere near important enough for someone to hire for someone to hire to? If anything, it seems they assume that <laughs> that guy took care of us and that's that. These are some of the worst structured sentences I've ever read and they keep tripping me up. But the thing is, I'd rather be overly cautious than dead. Sigh. We'll be quick. Get in there, rob them, kill them, and get out. So now you want to kill our parents. Great. You just said we can't talk to them again anyway. So they might as well be dead. I'm way too tired for this. Fine, we'll just rob them then. Break in while they're at work, get some money, and then get lost. I'll take it. Where do they live now, anyway? I know the place, but I don't remember the exact address. She actually told you the address? Yeah. Huh. The only thing she told me was to stop calling her. She probably figured I'd tell you then. Well, what a sloppy job you did. Do forgive me, Ashley. It didn't seem like relevant information at the time. Whatever. Just drive. I haven't driven a car in over two years. Will we be fine? Just don't distract me with anything. Okie dokie. Feet on the floor! My god! It's not even your car. Shut up and put your seatbelt on. Boo! This sucks. Yeah, yeah. It sucks. Now hurry up. I'll be goddamned if we get caught in a dead man's car just because we got pulled over for some stupid shit. <laughs> it's even worse sentences than mine, and English isn't even my first language. Yeah. Thoughts on the game? I beat it and actually really liked it. I, as I've said earlier in this very stream, it's schlock and it's cheesy and dumb, but I am enjoying it. Um, 
the, there's something about it. There's, it has some kind of quality that I enjoy that I can't quite put my finger on. Um, the art is good, but at that point, he could have just made an incest comics. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you're playing a video game and you're wondering, like, why isn't this just a book? Why isn't it just a comic? Um, but I do, you know, I like the interactive experience. I like the interactive nature of it. Make me then. Do you or do you not want to go rob our parents? I said make me, Andy. I... Okay, what do you want? If it's to piss me off, then you're nailing it right now. Oh, come on, it's just a joke. I know it's not a joke. I... Yeah, it is. You get so mad. It's just funny. Like, I don't know you, Ashley. You've pulled this shit before. I have no idea what you're talking about. You keep going, Andy, Andy, until I get tired of correcting you. And suddenly it's Andy and Lele and stupid bullshit all over again. Way to read into it. I was just honestly joking around. Well, then it's not funny and you're going to stop. She needs to be institutionalized. <laughs> she needs to be locked up. Ashley is batshit crazy, but at the same time, Ashley is hot. We can fix her, lads. Lads, we can fix her. Nothing is funny to you anymore. Are they driving, or are they still just sitting there? Well, are you going to drive or what? Thank you for answering my question, Ashley. Who's that pretty girl in that silly little mansion? I just don't want her to get us in trouble. But you don't have to be such a hard ass about it. I do, though. When you're being such a dumbass about it. Just drive. Are you angry? I'm looking out for us. Fucking drive, Andy! <sighs> drive, Andrew. And so he does, finally. And you decide to give Andrew the silent treatment until he apologizes. Not that I did anything wrong, but okay. You're not sure what he needs to apologize for exactly, but you won't forgive him until he does. So while you wait for him to notice you're not talking to him, you fall asleep. What the? You're pretty sure you're dreaming. But at the same time, you feel wide awake. What is this strange dreamscape? Er, soul. Huh? What? Who's there? Where are you? And where am I? Is this another vision or what? There is no response. There's nothing to step on. Okay, can't go that way then. I picked up red flowers. Those red flowers are right there. Bum, bum, bum. This is some Tim Burton ass music, I'll tell you that much. Tar Soul summoned you to can't tune in. What? You're all muffled. I can't hear anything, Andy! The voice continues talking, but you can't make heads or tails of it. Oh, whatever. I should focus on getting out of here anyway. I'm a girl. Oh, did I just loop? Go in a loop. Yeah, I going in a loop. I in a loop. Shoot. Um. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Hmm. Max, stop being in a loop. I'm trying! There's nothing to step on. I need more flowers. There's some up there, but I can't get up there. Unless... Is this Pac-Man rules? It is! It's Pac-Man rules! Fuck! Where am I? Everything looks the same, and it's Pac-Man rules! 
I hate Pac-Man rolls, you guys. I hate them. Did you not get the flowers, you dumb bitch? Oh my gosh. Get flowers. Picked up red flowers. There we go. Threw, threw down some red flowers. Can I get those little eyeballs? Oh, hello, Mr. Demon. Well, you just avoided falling down into an eternal void. Lucky. Hello, are you Demon? Ah, it's you. I summoned you before, right? Human, you've come. Where am I? In a dream. I called you here. Well, can you wake me up then? I was in the middle of something. It doesn't even occur to you that you should be afraid of this soul-stealing creature. I have summoned you to make deal. Great, but I can't do this now. What if Andrew tries to talk to me? He needs to know I'm de deliberate, deliberately ignoring him instead of being in a coma or something. The demon couldn't care less about the lover's spat you're having with your brother. It carries on as if you hadn't said such a thing. You've used my gift. What? Was it useful seeing the future? Oh, yes, the trinket you gave me. It's been very useful, thank you. Then do you want to see future again? Sure, I just have to keep holding on to it, right? It is out of energy. I am able to recharge it. Do you want to make a deal? Of course you do. Never has it been a bad idea to make deals with devils. Let's hear it then. What do you want, baby? Human souls. Well, you're not getting mine, so if that was it, then... Not yours, Tar Soul. Is that like an insult, or... Who's then? Just anybody's? And why don't you just go get some souls yourself? I cannot enter the human realm without summoning. Like you cannot enter here. I am able to reach only... Only because of my talisman. But even then, one can only interact between realms through deals. Do we have a deal? I don't really get it, but I can't say I'm all that interested either. Listen, I really need to get back to my brother. If I offer you a soul, you'll make my talisman trinket dream thing work again, right? Correct. Sounds good. I do have a soul or two in mind, actually. But I'll see what Andrew has to say about it. He's kind of... I don't know. Something is shifting. I don't really like it. The demon says nothing to that. It probably wasn't the right entity to talk to about this. I will be waiting. Uh, right. Alright, I'll see what I can do. So, how do I wake up? You wake up once your mind returns home. Huh? Farewell, tar soul. The entity has left. Coolsies. Picked up red flowers. I don't know why, but my brain imagined your PNG tuber drooling as you were reading that. Well, I was drooling, but that's only because I'm always drooling. To be fair. Uh, do I want to go this way? Do I want to go down? Nope. No, this goes. This is Pac-Man rules. OMG, I'm trapped in the pack of Earth. Holy shit, Andy. Andy, I'm in Pac-Man, Andy. I love to play Pac-Man with Andy. I love it when Andy is mean to me. That's also Pac-Man rules. That's also Pac-Man rules. Hmm. Alright. There's two doors here. Hmm. One is looking a little more demonic than the other one. Can we please kill Ashley? I mean... 
I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this tale somehow ends with her death. The door is decorated with red flowers. Enter? Nah. The door is decorated with eyes. Enter? Why not? Uh, I want to go to the other... <laughs> Let me try the other door. There is no door, and there is no way to return. Shit! Well, whatever this is, it looks unfinished. I guess we, uh... So we have to live with our decisions in this reality. Bum, 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 boom. Didn't save. You guys want me to save? I can save. I wish it would just say save confirmed. It doesn't. It does not though. Oh boy, I love my brother Andy. He's so cool. I love flirting with my brother and calling him Cockbrain. I love talking to my brother about his cock. I love my brother's cock. Tar Soul. Oh, it's you again. Well, hello again. This is not the path to your home. Oh. Up here is my realm. You must return to your own. I thought I was already in the demonic world. This is the realm in between. Entering the wrong realm unsummoned will result in your death. Huh, so it's fine as long as you're summoned? So why not summon me to your realm? Why summon me here in this crap land instead? Return home, Tarsoul! I am expecting those souls. You can't tell me there's another realm and then not show it to me. Return now! Okay. Ah! Where am I now? Ah, this is so tiresome. I've had it up to here with these stupid flowers. Whoop. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh, what's going on? No escaping here. Okay. Should I crush all the flowers? You know what they say, you gotta pay the troll toll to get into that boy's hole. Just gonna crush all the flowers. Can't think of anything else to do. Ah! Ashley? Andy, is that you? Help, get me out of this shithole. Come on, wake up. It's not funny. I'm trying, jackass! Do something! Help me! Ugh. Oh, thank god. I was a hair away from taking you to the hospital. Huh? Why? That would screw us over, wouldn't it? You wouldn't wake up no matter what I did. God, Ashley, don't scare me like that. Ugh, what time is that? Like 10 in the morning or something. Mom and Dad should both be at work right now. So, whenever you're ready, I guess. You're only being nice to me because you treated me like shit last night. I treated you the way you deserve to be treated. Or actually, no, scratch that. Considering you kept pushing me around all day, I think I was pretty fucking lenient with you. Sigh. So any- Stop touching! Stop! Don't touch! So anyway, this episode is titled Andrew and Ashley and the Home Sweet Home Invasion. What kind of knockoff cash grab show is that? I'm not interested. Well, it's definitely all about cash grabbing. Ha ha ha, that's funny, Andy. I, I mean, boo. No thank you. No, I saw that. You're into it. Let's go. No, it sucks. Ha ha ha. But I'm so nice that I'll roll with it for now. Let's go steal money from Mama and Dada. Why on earth are we at some park? Free parking, that's why. Mom and Dad live somewhere down this slope. Can't go that way. Ice cream stand only operates during the height of summer season. Okay. The 
This way is nothing but more parking spots. Let's head over here then. This can't be the right place. Look how nice everything is. No, it's gotta be this. She did sound happy when she talked about their new place, too. What's their last name, anyway? What do you mean, what's their last name? The nameplates on the doors. Did they go with Dad's name or Mom's? Dad's name, right? Why would they change it at this point? I don't know, to throw us off? You really make it sound like they don't want us to find them. Just a feeling I got. Hmm. Well, whatever. Let's find the house of Mr. and Mrs. Graves. Grayson. Almost. It's great that those who open the Sonic Superstars tab on Twitch are going to open the stream and find an incest game. You know... Let me open my dock. Stream information. Look, category. The coffin of Andy and Lele. Update. It should be updated. Ugh. Well, what the fuck ever. I tried. Let it be known. Let it be known. I tried. Shitterson. That's one hell of a name, all right. Jones. Aha! Here we go. Don't just knock. No one comes to open the door. All right. All good. Whatever. Let's just find a way in. Um. Oh, come on! Look at this place! They've got a garden and everything! Doesn't matter. We'll fill our pockets and go. Oh yeah, they're growing onions, they're growing carrots. A stick. Potatoes. Carrots. Onion? No, maybe not onion. One of the planks is loose. Back door is locked. Some surprisingly heavy rocks. That window is a little bit open. Oh, I think that window is open. Can you reach it? Nope. Hmm. Please stop doing that voice. No, no. No, 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 no. You know you like it. bound to be something we can stand on around here. This is the part of the game that's most like a game. Ugly Van McHideous. Okay, a little on the nose, but... Smiths. What about the, these, uh, these trash bins? Can we use these? Maybe, maybe not. Go this way? No. Something we can stand. Got wooden plank. Can we go through there? No. <clears throat> Place down the wooden plank. Erg, it's still too high. Lift me up. Well? Ugh, no good. It's open, but held in place by a latch that's on the other side of the window. Damn it, my fingers can't reach it to unlock. Um, maybe use stick? You got stick. You can do this. You can do this, Ash. Let's see, let's see. Aha! Andrew helps you climb through the now open window. Give me your hand, I'll pull you up. Thanks, but I'd much rather you just open a door for me. Oh yeah, that would be easier. I'm a girl. Renovations are afoot. Turn the handle, but no water comes out. There's no water inside the toilet bowl. I recommend you don't try to use it. All right, I won't. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. 
not so fast. Huh? Now what do we say? Thank you very much. Wrong. Try again. Exceptionally well done. That was an earth-shattering performance. Yes! To think you'd open a door so swiftly and with such grace. Stunning, marvelous, breathtaking! These are but a few words I'd use to describe your ability to trespass. May I come in now? Aw, oh, she made a little heart. You may. Great, then let's split up. Oh, wait, that's Andrew. Great, then let's spl split up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Uh, hey, there was something I was wondering about. Right now? Can it wait? Our situation is kind of time sensitive. Well, it can, I guess. Good, then tell me later. So, this is where our parents live. Interesting. You find a letter, it reads, Sorry to hear about what happened with the kids. I agree, it was probably a blessing in disguise. Why do our parents hate us? That's so weird. Don't feel guilty, it's not your fault. Lord has sorted it out for you. P.S. Since Andrew won't be finishing college, is there any chance my daughter could have his textbooks? Those are so ridiculously expensive. Thanks in advance. Much love to you and your husband. You never told me you dropped out. I didn't. I was just on pause until I got out of quarantine. Though given the situation right now, I guess I did drop out. Well, tough luck for their daughter. Your textbooks are in ashes now. It's the, the bathroom. This is the kitchen. There's not much in the fridge right now. Hmm. What do you mean? Ashley is a psycho and Andrew is like creepy and likes his sister? No, I don't think Andrew is the creepy one. I think Andrew is more or less pretty normal. I think the sister is just nuts. A cooking book. It's mostly broths and stew recipes. Who's that pretty girl in that stinky haunted mansion? You better learn her name because she's Ashley. Inside the closet are clothes, as well as toys and some rope. Ew, gross. My parents have sex. You don't even want to know what your parents have been up to on this bed. Ew, gross. My parents have sex. I hate that. The dresser is locked. My parents should never have sex ever. That's yuck. Notice how there aren't any photos of us here? So what? I guess I'm a little offended. It's not like there were any pictures in general of our last place either. True, but now that there are some, why not of us too? I guess we're just too ugly to be put on display. Right, maybe that's it. You're supposed to say I'm pretty! And you're supposed to be robbing the house. Get to it! Alright, alright, I'll get to it. A fireplace. They have a goddamn fireplace, Andrew. Yeah? This is some rich people stuff. Who has a fireplace inside their house? It's not that uncommon, is it? Not in older houses, anyway. But this... But is this house old? Fuck if I know. Why are you disappointed that your parents are rich? Your parents have lived here for only a few months. Yet they've somehow managed to hoard all this stuff and a spare bed to boot. Money is clearly no longer an issue. And the extra bed implies there are no issues in their social life either. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. A washing machine and a tumble dryer. Your parents are living it up. Cleaning supply supplies such as vinegar. Dirty laundry. Right at the top sits some sexy lingerie. How uncomfortable. Oh my gosh, I have to burp. I have to burp again. I <laughs> got. Okay, I burped. Unlike the toilet upstairs, this one actually works. The floor drain seems a little clogged up, but it's not your problem. On the table lay some documents about purchasing a home. There's also a key. Got dresser key. Okay. A metal box full of screwdrivers. Christmas decorations, including a string of lights. 
Christmas stuff, mostly candles. I think that's everything down here. Excellent quality mop. Oh, Andy! I'm a pretty girl in a spooky little mansion. I hope you know my name because I'm Ashley. My parents seem to have picked up some new and exciting hobbies. Tell me more. I, uh, don't think I will. But now it makes sense why Mom kept hassling us to move out. Oh, you found the key. Nice. What's in there? There is no sight of any jewelry, but you spot some paperwork. It reads, Dear Mr. and Mrs. Graves, You have opted in for some compensation for damages caused by our company's error. Our representative will be glad to meet with you. Please come discuss the matter further at your earliest convenience. Flipping through the folder, something else catches your eye. It is the death certificate of Ashley and Andrew Graves. That's us! You guys, that's us! Huh? Huh? I didn't know we died three months ago. What the hell is this? I guess that explains why Mom kept telling me not to call. It must have been spooky getting phone calls from a ghost. That's... Someone has entered the house. <gasps> Who could it be? Oh, shit. Isn't this too early? They shouldn't be home yet. It's a shame that you wasted all our bullets. <laughs> like we'd shoot anyway. Is someone there? Hi, Mom. It's just us. Welcome home! Andrew? That's my mom? She looks the same age as me. What are you doing here? Surprise! We came for a visit. Oh, I see. How are you home so early? Did you get fired? It's my day off. I was just out shopping. How did you two get inside? You left the door unlocked. That shouldn't. You should really be more careful about that. Did I really? Here, let me help you with those groceries. Thanks? You should have let me know you were coming. Uh, how about some coffee? Where do you keep the grounds? In the top cupboard. But what about the quarantine? Any milk in yours? Uh, sure, let me just go wash my face. What the hell are you doing? Just play along for now, please? Guess I'll make some coffee. in the grocery bag. Meat, wine, looks like your parents had a night planned. A, a night of meat and wine. Hmm. You brew some coffee. So I saw the fire on the news. What happened? What do you care? <laughs> Ow, my foot! Well, first we got evacuated. After that, they gave us the go-ahead to leave since we've been cleared of the parasites anyway. Huh, interesting. In the news, they, say that they said everyone died. That would certainly make the story uh, sell more. Anyway, here we are. Uh, neither of us burnt nor full of parasites. I'm just glad you're safe. Are you? Are you? Are you, Mom? Are you really? Yeah, you sure look like it. Uh, so, uh, quite the upgrade from our previous place, huh? How'd you get the money for this place? Did you finally win the lottery? Ha! I wish. The house needs some serious repairs, but the area is so worth it, don't you think? Perfect non-answer. They even hold barbecue events here with the neighbors. Barbecue events! Just like on TV! Yeah, we just call them barbecues here in America. I, th I thought that was all bullshit, but no, they actually do that stuff here. Yeah, no, barbecues are real. You can just have a barbecue. People do that. Bet you stick out like a sore thumb. You'd be surprised, I'm actually quite well liked. Though it's probably all thanks to my cooking skills. It's a shame our Ashley didn't inherit any. Hey, what the hell? I'm Ashley. Ha 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 The rest of the conversation is dreadfully boring. You don't contribute anything to it because you can't keep up with Andrew's lies. And if you're to be honest, you don't want to talk to your mother in the first place. Well, it was good seeing you. Your father should be coming home soon, so I really need to start making some dinner. Oh no, don't worry about it, I'll make something. You know full well that that was her way of telling you to get lost. 
Um, oh boy, I can't wait to hear how Dad has been. He must have all kinds of stories about repairing this place. That's true. Anyway, why don't you go rest? I'll fix us something. Huh. I'll take you up on that. Thank you. Mother leaves. You are now Andrew. Somehow your burglary attempt ended up with you cooking your victim's dinner. Go ahead then. Make something, you smooth talker, you. You don't know what to make. Inside the fridge is some meat. You'd probably make something out of that if you knew what. Maybe something from the cookbook. You browsed the cooking book for some simple recipe. What? I got this. You can go do whatever. I'm alright. What is it? It's nothing. I'm a girl. You're struck with an odd urge to pull this broody bitch into your arms and force her to stay until she smiles. That's weird. But you push, push such an idea to the back of your mind, where it may fester with all your other thoughts you wish you never had. Either way, you let her hover over you for now. Found a simple soup recipe. You'll need meat, carrots, potatoes, onions. Chop up everything and boil in a pot. Got meat. Real cooking is not that easy. Got potatoes. How nice that our parents had all these fresh ingredients. While we languished in our apartment really makes one appreciate just how much they love us. Come on, we'll get ours. Just have to figure out how to go about this now that she's seen us. Leave no witnesses. Let's not jump to that just yet. I fucking knew it. Please just let me think. I'll figure something, alright? You get the feeling that she has something more to say. But you can tell that whatever it is, it's going to start an argument. So you leave her be for now. Got carrots. And got onions. If the genders were reversed, this game would be banned in a week. But since it's a girl, it's soon hot. Um, maybe. <sighs> Listen, she's just a rambunctious tyke. She's just a silly little goofy silly ball. Leave her alone. Your mom's purse got a bit of cash. It's nowhere near enough for you. Who's that silly girl in that spooky little mansion? Hey, Mom, what's up? Don't you two ever get sick of each other? All the time. I hear absence makes the heart grow fonder. The very last thing I need is to grow fonder of that nightmare of a woman. Time to make a meal for my mommy. Mommy, you are going to bing bing for me, and I will bing bing for you. You bing bing for me, and I bing bing for you. You don't have all the ingredients prepared? When you say bing bing, and then I say wahoo. You chop the meat into chopped meat. You cut the potatoes into chopped potatoes. You cut the onions into chopped onions. You cut the carrots into chopped carrots. Just curious, did you just use the cultist's cleaver to cut all the ingredients? Yeah, why? I hope you washed it first. I've kept it clean, obviously. Anyway, that should be all the ingredients. You throw the ingredients in the pot and wait. Alright, you can't take this anymore. Ashley, I can tell something is up. Spit it out. I have something to tell you, but first you have to promise you'll agree. I will absolutely not promise that. Okay, then never mind. Stop being annoying. What is it? Ugh, you're gonna be such a bitch about it. I really wanted you to come to this conclusion by yourself, but since you won't, let me spell it out for you. We have to kill mom and dad. <sighs> no, no, none of that. I actually need their souls to recharge the clairvoyance dream thingy. Do you really, or are you just saying that? Huh? Pretty fucking interesting that you'd mention this now of all times. I did try to tell you before, but you blew me off. And again, I was hoping you'd come around on your own. 
Shame on me for expecting anything from you. Let me think about it. Oh my gosh, I keep burping. I'm sorry, guys. I already hate this game. Well, then you don't play it then. I like it. I'm enjoying myself. What's there to think about? Let me have fun! Let me have fun for once. Hey, kids, it's good to see you, says Dad with all the enthusiasm of a dead fish. What an extremely tiresome dinner later. Phew, that was a riveting conversation. Did they not draw a picture for the dad? They didn't give him an avatar? What did we talk about again? Anyway, I'm sorry, kids. I'm exhausted from work. I'm heading straight to bed. Could you two clean up? She lives. She leaves without waiting for an answer. We have to actually clean up. I'm just going to put them in the sink. I'm not going to wash them. It can't be done. The dishes, the robbing, or the killing? Robbing nor killing. The more I think about it, the less doable this is. Takes one report to the authorities to push us on their radar. And if anything happens to our parents, who do you reckon are the prime suspects? Well, surely not their two dead kids. But were those documents even official? Well, even then, surely the poor grave siblings perished in the fire. Trust me, it only takes one person to start digging into it. And suddenly we're not only alert we've not only alerted them we're alive, but also revealed our recent whereabouts. We're better off mugging random strangers who have no connection to us. And what makes you so what makes you so sure? This is my voice. <laughs> this bitch won't snitch on us anyway. Seems to me she already sold us off once before. I mean, assuming she believed me earlier, there'd be no reason for her to do anything. She's the kind of person who'd rather stay out of it anyway. I fucking knew it! I knew it! I knew it! W what? You're all about being so careful! But when push comes to shove, you stick your head in the sand, Andy. Hell, since you think everything is all good, why not stay here and play happy family some more? Bet you'd like that, huh? You seem to get along so nice. I just noticed that my avatar is literally blocking the entirety of her face. Um, is there anything I can do about that? Hang on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey. And I'm gonna turn the chair off. How do I turn the chair off? Is that? Nope. That's not it. That's the it's goofball's table. There we go. Now you guys can see. You know I'm only keeping up appearances, right? And so is she. Hey, shush! Why are you whining? You know you're not supposed to be whining like that, bub? Shush, go lie down. Felt to me it was the same as ever. Ashley, are you kidding me? <sighs> okay, listen, I chose you, didn't I? Don't, hey, hey, don't chew on those wires. Go away. I chose you, didn't I? I chose you. So if anyone is playing happy family here, it's you and me. So you're saying you're not happy? Not that I didn't know that already. Fuck off with that. It's not what I said. If you'd keep your end of the agreement, everything would be just peachy. I've been behaving! No, you haven't, but that's not what I'm talking about anyway. I agreed to behave, and you agreed it's just us now. Funny, because I remember agreeing to bury Andy and Lele. That is funny. I think you're misremembering. I'm not, because it's the only reason I'm here in the first place. Then you must have misunderstood me. What? If you don't like it, why don't you stay here with Mommy and Daddy and be a good little murder boy? Why don't you leave me to rot? Clearly, you don't even like me. Oh my gosh, you are so fucking passive-aggressive. Jeez! <sighs> talking to her is like talking to a damn nine-year-old. She just has the emotional maturity of a child. She's the worst. I can't take her anymore. <sighs> I don't care how hot the incest sex would be. It's not worth it. You're not worth it, Ashley. 
You're the only one who doesn't like me. It's, a, it's all about Andy with you. Well, guess what? Andy is dead. You're right. I really don't like Andrew. I'm sorry to hear that. Because Andrew is all you'll get. Why are you touching? It... Now isn't the time for this anyway. Let's just leave. I'll figure out what we'll do about money and the trinket. If we're leaving anyway, with the trinket charged, we at least have the means to stay safe. I get that, but if we leave quietly, there'd be no need for anyone to look for us. Look out, your mom is right behind you. Is he putting his... Is he putting his hand through her belt loop? What the fuck? What is this? You guys see that? Hang on. Do you see this? Why? Just why? Why is your hand on your sister's ass? Andrew, I don't believe for a second that woman can keep her mouth shut without being dead. Ahem. Oh, hey, Mom. It's just me and my sister. Just me putting my hand through my sister's belt loop on her big fat ass. What are you two whispering about? Just killing you. Nothing. Did you need something? Just like peas in a pod. I don't suppose you've gotten any friends you could go stay with. Oh. There isn't enough space in this house. Despite it being far larger than the last one. And you're both already in your 20s. I don't know how else to say it. No, no, it's... Yeah, we're not fucking planning on living here. Thanks for the invitation, though. It's not like you're unwelcome to visit. There's just no need to keep housing you indefinitely. Yeah, I get it. But since you're already here, I guess one night won't be a problem. But you need to start looking for somewhere else to stay first thing in the morning. Well, fuck, go lie down, bub. And it should probably be between... It should probably be two separate places. Oh, they didn't like that. That's a tall order after all our earthly possessions just burned to the ground. It's amazing what money can buy once you have a job. Speaking of which, I have a morning shift tomorrow. There's a spare bed in the basement. Andrew, you can take the couch. All right, good night. Good night. Well, aren't you going to bed? I'm not that tired yet, so... You are under my roof right now, and you will go to your designated sleeping areas immediately. Uh... Sleep now, or get out at once! That's weird. You pretend to go to bed until your parents fall asleep. Going to sleep is the worst. During the day, all the noise and Ashley's never-ending bullshit keeps your mind occupied. But at night, alone with your thoughts, there's nothing to distract you from yourself. Despite having every intention of going to pick a fight with Ashley, you drift off to sleep. Uh-oh. Greetings, neighbor. Hath thou arrived to borrow sweet granules of sugar? Behold, as thou may witness, naught but flesh doth I possess to present unto thee. All ghosts are apparently required to speak like this. Yes, even the recently passed ones. You read too much poetry. Be alert, young Mr. Graves. Tis time for you to compartmentalize. Okay. This freezer isn't full of human meat. There's a severe lack of human meat in the freezer. Um... What ails thee? I don't know. Well, I don't know what to do, that's what. Ooh, frying pan. The pan is empty. Oh, right. Ashley already cooked one. Uh, who is that? Candle holder is empty. Door has no handle, nor will it budge. Hmm. Hey, Mamacita, who are you? What are you doing here? Oh, it's her as a... <laughs> never mind. It's Ashley as a little girl. Whoop. Uh, never mind. Actually, no, don't answer that one. I don't care. Get lost. You're not supposed to exist anymore. Says who? You. 
You're not the boss of me, Andy. Forget this. Oh, and now she's behind me. Stop following me, you little shit! Ha 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 ha. I'm a girl. We're all stupid. We're all smelly. Oh, sure. It is dark that way. Good thing I have these candles. Great. Hand them over. Ha. No way. Ask her nicely. May I have one of the candles, please? Nope. And why is that? Because I only have so many left. And if my lemon muffin has no candles, I can't pretend it's cake anymore. Just eat it then? That way you can pretend you ate the cake and won't need the candles anymore. It's too precious to eat. God, you're such a tool today. All right, whatever. Well, you have to help us out of here then. Ooh, let me get that. Lele places a candle on the candle holder. Nothing happens. You're welcome. Used your lighter to light the candle. Ooh, let's get over there. There we go. White noise. Even in your dreams, the entertainment sucks. Typical. Typical. So what do you want to play today? Nothing. Go to bed. Barring. I don't care. Go to sleep and never wake up again. I don't want to sleep. I want to draw. Draw then. Just don't leave this spot. I can't draw without my coloring pencils. <sighs> well, if I nick myself, I can get red. I'll get you your pencils. Thanks, Andy. You're the best. Typical. Typical. Typical Ashley. Who's that slutty whore in that silly little mansion? Julia? Who's Julia? You've been quiet all day. What's up? N no, it's nothing. Is this one of my girlfriends? I don't know who this character is. Or actually, I've been thinking about something a lot lately. But I don't know if I should bring it up. With that much buildup, you kind of have to now. <laughs> well, uh, okay. But please don't get mad. When have I ever once raised my voice with her? You know you can tell me anything. I, uh, talked to my sister about what you said the other day. And she agrees with me that maybe it's... Maybe it'd be better for Ashley to learn some independence? Even if just for her own sake, you know? And maybe for our sake, too. I think it'd be nice if you could stay over more often. And not, like, always cut things short or cancel on me so much. Sorry. I I'm not reprimanding you. I can't make her learn anything, though. N no, but you could, like, you know, not always go when she asks. If your sister needed something, wouldn't you go? Well, yes, but she only asks if she actually needs something. I suppose. Sorry, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Or brought this up after all. No, it's fine. I guess I'm still shook up, shook up over what happened to your friend way back when. Ashley might not look like it, but I think it affected her a lot too. So that's probably why she is how she is. I really don't get that impression at all. For someone so obnoxious, she's surprisingly difficult to read, isn't she? Yeah, she's difficult in general. Sorry, I didn't catch that? No, no, nothing. Go on. Anyway, I worry about something like that happening to her. Or happening to you. Mwah! So I can't let either of you out of my sight. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm a girl. I'll be fine if you're with me, Andrew. Would you tie your hair up for me? <laughs> so you just what? So so she can look uh, look like your sister? Not the idea, Andrew. Andrew, I was I was rooting for you. I was saying that you were the normal one. Don't be weird, Andrew. Ha 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 ha. Oh, but don't you know it's how boys show their love? That's just awful, hee hee. 
I suppose she still lingers. It hasn't been that long, I just kind of forgot about her with all the chaos going on. What do you hope to find in there, pervert? I don't know. Got some colored pencils. Oh, hello. Collection of photos and notes your girlfriend cherishes. Or your ex-girlfriend used to cherish. You're pretty sure she wouldn't be up there. You wouldn't be up there anymore. The trash is full of letters, mostly death threats. Someone stares inside the room with an unblinking gaze. Max, you are going for the incest ending? Um, I'm not going for <laughs> any particular ending. Just kind of along for the ride for now. I guess that's my sister staring in, watching my, my ex-girlfriend with evil intent. Lele, why are you so evil? Yes, thank you. What should I draw? I wouldn't want to hinder your artistic genius with my bad ideas. Hmm, good call. Well, whatever. As a thank you, I'll give you a candle. Treat it carefully as if it were me. I'm lighting it on fire. Not cool. That's flames for you. Bwahahaha! <laughs> Boo, you suck! Got candle. I'm going to put it here? Place the lit candle. Ooh, what's going on over there? Hey, guys. Everyone's dead over here, or what? Ashley would have wanted to kill this one anyway. You couldn't leave any witnesses, after all. Still, you can't comprehend why there hasn't been even a mention of her on the news. Surely someone found her before the fire burned the apartment down. Is there an investigation going on? Can this be linked back to you? Other than that, it doesn't bother you. Found Ashley in the closet. There you are, menace. Ta-da! I'm missing that limb you cooked. I figured you'd have it. It's in your stomach, right? And mine. Are you going to cut me up to get it? I'd rather not. What do you need it for, anyway? There's plenty of limbs right behind you. That's true. What about this guy? This one you had to get before he got you. It worries you someone wanted you dead badly enough to hire this guy. And then the one last guy here. Got a severed limb. Well met, young graves. Okay, now I think... I'm guessing I take the meat and I put it in the freezer. Placed a limb in the freezer. Well, what do you know? Got a limb. Hmm. Get that one? Yeah. Okay. Can I go over to that one? It's kind of out there in no man's land. If you bing bing for me, and I bing bing for you, you can bing with me, and I can bing bing too. Got a limb. Dost thou reckon that my mortal frame was consumed by the flames? Forsooth, I do not. Methinks the innards of a freezer doth not combust. Perchance it may cook, but to burn, I knoweth not. Verily, the most foolish deed thou hast ever committed was to leave mine own remains in thine own dwelling. Praise the heavens that some soul sought to protect themselves and kindled a flame which engulfed all. Coolsies. This reminds you of something. Oh, it reminds me of when I killed that girl when I was a kid. Oh, Andy doesn't like that. Ooh. Rise and shine, Nina! Haha! <laughs> Did you have a fun night? 
I sure hope you learned your lesson. There is no answer. Huh, guess she's still sleeping. No, she's dead, you idiot. You can't lock somebody in a suitcase overnight. Lele kicks the crate. Wake up, sleepyhead! Come on, don't. You open the crate. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, oops. Wait, wait, what? Why is she dead? How did... What? That can't be right. What's going on? Whatever. If you're so weak that you just die like that, then clearly nature doesn't want you to live. Sh shut up. Just shut up! Forget this. Let's just leave her here. Since you took the stick off, it looks like she went there on her own anyway. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Why wouldn't she have clawed at the crate until her fingernails split if she was in if she was in there willingly? Oh well. It's not like anyone knows she's here. Let's just leave her. No, she'll it'll start rotting. And and someone will come looking and find her. I mean her family was already looking for her. It's only a matter of time until they come check here. So what do we do then? Um I F fuck. Let's just hide it then. Huh? If no one knows, then it's not a problem. They're gonna know, Lele. They'll find the body and they'll know. And then they'll throw me in the prison for the rest of my life. Me too. It's fine if it's the both of us. No, no, you fucking idiot. You don't get it, do you? Guys and girls don't go to the same prison. They're going to take you away from me. How was I supposed to know that? You figure something you figure something out then since you're so damn smart. Okay, okay, let's just uh like move her somewhere. Yes, a grave. Let's dig up a grave for her. All right, where? Anywhere in the forest should be fine. I mean, there's a park right outside. <laughs> yeah, there is probably fine. But first we need to wrap her up in something because no one can see us carry her there. Owl? This will have to do. Got tarp. You wrap Nina's corpse inside the tarp and carry her away. I couldn't find a shovel, but I figured these wooden planks work too. I mean, they're kind of shovely. Just watch for splinters. Splinters are the least of my worries right now. Let's pick a good, easy, easy to dig spot. You got a wooden plank. <laughs> Here? Maybe here. There doesn't seem to be any roots in the way. I'm tired. Yeah, this is way hotter than I thought it was going to be. Isn't this deep enough already? A grave should be six feet, right? Forget it. She fits here just fine. I... Okay, fine. You and Lele push the body into its grave. Then let's uh let's bury her again, I guess. Crap, this doesn't look natural at all. Looks fine to me. No, there can't be this this obvious of a spot. It needs to be hidden too. Wanna hide it with some leaves and such? Let's hide it with some leaves and such. I'm Ashley. Got foliage. Got foliage. Oh, how I love to get foliage. More foliage is needed. If you bing with me, and I bing with you, you can bing bing bing, and then you can wahoo. Oh yeah, this looks so much better, huh? Also, this is all getting blown away by the next breeze. There's gotta be something in here to hold them in place. Like a big rock? Got stone. This rock, maybe? Or just one? Nice. Makes me want to... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, my throat's starting to dry out. Nice. Makes me want to write her name on it. Out of the question. I wasn't going to do it. I was just saying. Uh, what is it now? She's hidden. What if they find her? What if a police dog digs her up? 
Listen, forget about it. I can't. Of course you can. Did you know that if you don't think about something for a really long time, it's like it never happened? That's not true. Because you can't remember it anymore. Let's forget all about it. Lele, I need to know you won't say anything to anyone. Promise me this stays between us. I just said we'll all forget about it. You say one thing and do another. Promise me that this time you'll honest to God keep your mouth shut. I promise. I won't say anything. Hell, I'll never even say her name again. What was it anyway? I don't even remember anymore. <sighs> there, there. It'll be fine. Just kidding. I'm gonna tell on you. If you won't do what I say, I'll tell everyone all about what you did. Who's going to play with you if I'm in jail? I'll send you letters. I can't read your crappy handwriting. Guess you'll just have to do what I say then. Otherwise, you'll be all alone in prison. I am your best friend from now on. You already were, Lele. Don't lie to me. I'm not. I think. Whatever. It's you and me now. No one else will like you. Because you're bad. You're a bad person, Andy. But I won't tell anyone. Of course not. You'd be in trouble too. So what? No one likes me anyway. But that's fine, because you'll be around now. God, you're a stupid, stupid little girl. I've been here this whole time. None of this needed to happen. You could have just... I know you don't like me! Andy, I know! I know, Andy! I know! I know! But that doesn't matter anymore, because from now on, no one will like you either. So let's always be friends, okay? Oh my god. Be my friend, or else. Is this... Is this Andy and Lele Genesis? This is how their, their weird relationship started? My, f my frustration with Ashley is immense. Yeah, now imagine how Andy must feel. I'm gonna grow up with this weirdo. Sigh. I'll be whatever you want me to be. Really? Then from now on, let's always be together. You had a million things you wanted to say to this creature, none of which were pleasant. But absolutely nothing came out of your mouth. Several days went by without a hitch. Can I eat your ice cream? Go for it. Huh? Really? I can't seem to eat anything lately. Nom nom. Why do they have to put this jam thing in strawberry ice cream? It's gross. I wish there was no jam. You wish you had the capacity to care. Has anyone asked you about things? Yeah, my teacher asked everyone in class. Some officers came by too. And did you say anything? Nope. I only asked Julia if she was expecting to see anyone the other day. Why? You know, because a certain someone told her mom she went to study with Julia. So I thought maybe she told Julia she was going to come see you instead. Well, did she? I don't know, because I didn't want to just come out and ask. But Julia said she was visiting family that day, so I doubt she had any idea. Your promises mean fucking nothing. Huh? Why are you being so cold to me? You're worse than you were before, jackass. I gave you my ice cream, yet I'm a jackass? <laughs> Wait, I see how it is. You're still pinning me for that bitch. Here we fucking go again. She's dead, yet you're still all about her, aren't you? It is never good enough. What a snake. I bet she died on porpoise. I need a knife. Huh? Where are you going? Where am I going? I go to get knife. You pick up a knife from the sink and give it a quick wash. Got kitchen knife. Mom, Dad. Where are you? 
Can you tell Lele to leave me alone? I don't want to read this. I don't want to read this. I'm just, this is probably just flavor. I'm not reading this. It's probably just flavor. Oh, hey, Dad. Hello, son. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Why couldn't they draw the dad? The dad is the one uh, member of the family they wouldn't draw? Hmm. Bye, Dad. Oh, no, no. I'm not jumping. Huh? Right. It's just a job. I can always find another. Your mother said I was too good for that one anyway. I... Wait. You got fired? Well, life goes on, I guess. Precious, precious life. We're all important, Anders. It's Andrew. <sighs> I'll go see what they got for me at the unemployment office. Great talk, son. Oh, Ashley. Here's that silly girl in that spooky little mansion. What are you doing with that knife? Briefly, you wonder if killing her would be worth it. I'm going to make a blood oath with you. But in return, you have to promise me something. Okay. Keep my secret, and I'll keep you company. And what if I don't? Guess. Haha, <laughs> you're all bark. You wouldn't do anything. If you ruin my life anyway, what reason is there for me to keep up appearances? Moreover, I'm doing this for you. Then what happens if you break the promise? I won't, if you won't. I'm not buying that. Lele, you are a miserable, loathsome being that has wormed its way into every aspect of my life. And for that, my heart will always have a rotten, moldy sore spot just for you. Make of that what you will. I mean, I'll take it, but sheesh. Ack! Gently, you asshole! How does one cut someone gently? A better man would know. Whatever. And thus, she forever keeps her mouth shut. Only as long as you keep your eyes closed. Hmm? Let no hussy steal your gaze. It's just us now. I said I'd be around. I never said there wouldn't be others. <laughs> Wait, no. I want a do-over. Too late. A promise is a promise. Andy, that's not fair. Oh my gosh, I'm thirsty. <clears throat> Andy, that's not fair. Oh, don't be like that. I'll make you a priority, just not the only... It's not enough. Why can't you just... Kill our parents? Uh, what? Hold on. That's not what she said back then. Do it for your cute little sister. I know you want to. Kill them to... Whoop, didn't get to read that. Kill them to feel something. Kill them for food. Kill them to avoid the things I'll do to you if you don't. What is that supposed to mean? Look who's awake! Good morning! Or night. It's still nighttime. What do you want, you little creep? To offer mom and dad to the demon! Right now? Right now! While they're asleep, let's set up the ritual and do it. I've given you plenty enough time to figure this out, yet you haven't? So now we're doing it my way. Okay. Oh my, my efforts were far more effective than I thought. Welcome back, Andy. That's not it. But you have a point that Mom might snitch on us. I knew that even before we got that, got out of our apartment. I don't know why I let myself think anything else after talking to her. It's because at your core, you're just a soft, gooey marshmallow. If it weren't for me, all kinds of vile women would have gobbled you up already. Chomp. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? A demonstration. Whoa, guys, settle down. Hey, kids, take it easy. <laughs> Let's not touch each other. God, you're so fucking dumb. I should... Andrew, are you still awake? Uh, yeah, uh, why are you still up? I thought you had to work tomorrow. I wanted to talk to you without Ashley. 
It's not really a good time right now. Look, I know it's late, but this is important. I've been thinking things over, and I believe I owe you an explanation. That's all right. I don't really need, really need to know. I'm really tired. Andrew, I understand if you're angry, but at least listen. The whole situation with Ashley was... No, she's right here. Oh. Oh, go on, Mom. Don't mind little old me. Hmm. I think it's Ashley that Mom doesn't like. I think if it wasn't, uh... If it wasn't for Ashley, mother and father would be uh, more loving parents. Per chance. For the love of God. I said, better not be what it looks like. <laughs> whatever. How does this look to you? Well, where did you get... What's it looking like now, Mom? Ashley, come on. You know that there aren't any bullets left in that gun, but your mom sure doesn't. Ashley, put that away. There's no need for this. Be quiet and start walking. We're going to the basement. And don't get any funny ideas because I will shoot. I'm a girl. Andrew, go get a rope or something. I'm tying this bitch up. And don't kill dad. You did not need to be told that. <sighs> Gotta find a rope for tying up my mom. Hey, Dad. Are you sleeping? There's some rope in the closet, along with other equipment. Uh, I wonder if this is fine. As you untangle the rope from everything else... Andrew. Ah, shit! Oh, Dad's awake. Nice one, Butterfingers. Son! What on earth are you doing? Uh, sorry, I, uh, needed to, uh... There's absolutely no good explanation as to why you're rummaging through their sex toys. And the truth, I wanted to tie mom up doesn't sound any better. I wanted to... fuck myself? Oh yeah, that'll do. Where's your mother? She went to get something from the basement. Actually, I think she could use some help. Confused, your father goes to check up on your mother. Got rope. Maybe you should hang yourself with it? Yeah, I mean, that's a thought. Why doesn't Dad get a Sprite? Does the artist hate old men? Well, if the mom is any indication, the Sprite of Dad wouldn't be too old looking. Because the Sprite of Mom just looks like someone our own age. Honey, is everything alright? You take out your cleaver. A purse. Hey everyone, family meeting in the basement. What's going on? Hey, there's the dad! And look, he doesn't look any older than me. Uh, Andrew! Weren't you supposed to be masturbating? Yeah. Just walk down. Slow and steady. You tie your father up with the rope. You can't help but notice some old rope burns on his wrist. Better not dwell on it, as you'd rather not visualize how they came to be. So, everyone's tied up. Good, good. Don't move. Don't scream. I will shoot. Why are you doing this? Don't talk, either. Just set up and wait. Vinegar. Andrew. Andrew. I'm just checking if she has something on her. Well, does she? No. You got Christmas tree lights. You tied your mother up using Christmas tree lights. So this is what your life has come to. Alright, good. Now, do you remember how to perform the writ? Hold up. Mom, what's the pin for your credit card? Is that what this is about? Money? You'd go that you'd go this far just for a quick buck? What's the pin and where's the card itself? It's in my purse. She tells you the pin and you scroll it down on a note. Okay, then I'm gonna go and try this out now. Ashley, you stay here and don't do anything. That depends on them. If she gave me the wrong pin and you end them, then what? Again, it depends on if they behave or not. <sighs> Alright. I'll be quick. You guys hear some static? Everyone is saying static in the chat. My mic is all static? If I try turning it off.
How's that? Better? It's definitely not Wolfo. Wolfo is not in here right now. Better? Okay. Well, that was weird. But it's definitely not Wolfo. Wolfo is... I don't know where Wolfo is. I think he... I think he went out... You know what? He's probably just in my bedroom sleeping on the... Uh, sleeping on the towel that I put there for him. What am I even looking for? What am I doing? Hmm. Got credit card. There we go. Whoa, whoa! What are you doing here? Get back downstairs! They're not gonna try anything. It only takes one of them to start screaming for this whole thing to blow up in our faces. It is amazing how cooperative a person is when a gun pointed at them. Yeah, so go point it. I'll be right back. It's just... Come on, out with it. I need to get going. You're with me on this, right? Sacrificing them? Didn't I already say so? Well, you have this ability... You have this habit of flip-flopping. Don't know why I said ability, but whatever. Lay... Fuck. <laughs> Look, just trust me, Ashley. We're doing this. Hee <laughs> hee, you're the best. Come back soon. I'm a girl. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. You are now Ashley. While Andrew is busy picking up the money, you decide to set up the ritual, or at least what you remember of it. Let's see, I think it involved... <clears throat> music, runes, and a book. I think that's right. There was definitely music. Hmm. There was music, but there was also candles. And there was, I think there was blood. And there was also a book. So all of these seem wrong. Because this one has no music. This one has no music. And this one has no candles. I'll say this one. Well, there was that song the cultists kept blaring. I hope that wasn't too important, seeing as I don't have that here. Also, those runes on the floor, and a book. No, wait. The book was just the instructions. It wasn't needed for the ritual itself. You wish you had the book with you right now. <sighs> Whatever. I can just start with the runes. First things first, I need some blood to draw with. I'm a silly little Ashley girl. Do I need a knife? A dish rack with a blender. Do I even have a knife? Hey guys, can I have some blood? Two human-shaped sacks of blood sit on the floor, but you have nothing to cut them with. Okay. Can I take knife? Why can I not take knife? No knife allowed, huh? There's a knife in their room. No, no. There should be a knife in that... in that kitchen. Cooking book. No. Dish rack and a blender. Got kitchen knife! Hey, there we go. Bro keeps missing the knife. Well, I'm sorry. Hey guys, I'm gonna cut you a little bit. Alrighty, so here's what's gonna happen next. I'm going to cut one of you to draw some blood. And if you scream, I'll blow both of your brains out. How about that? Just take the money and go. What do you need our blood for? Oh, so now you care what I'm about. Don't you fucking act like I haven't tried with you, Ashley. You're the one who shut me out. But even then, I've stuck my neck out for you all this time. Oh, like that time when you left me to starve for three months. Was that you looking out for me? Aw, oh, gee, thanks. 
You know goddamn well what I'm talking about. I never told anyone what you two little psychos did to that girl. <laughs> what are you on about? Take your meds. I know you and Andrew did something to that classmate of yours who went missing. I knew it the second she was found dead near that warehouse you used to play in. <laughs> Whatever. If I didn't love you, I could have rid myself of you right then and there. When it comes to when it comes to being a mother, I am a fucking saint, Ashley. A saint. Ah yes, the patron saint of covering one's own ass. Do you have any idea what they would have done to you if they found out? Now then, you're pa paragons of virtue. Now let's see whose blood I should use. Which one do you cut? I cut... Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. catch a tiger by the toe. If it hollers, let him go. My mother said to pick the very best one and you are it. Who did I pick? I picked mom. <clears throat> H honey! It's fine. Don't worry about me. Yeah, she wouldn't worry about you in return. Got blood. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, something like that. Now let's finish drawing this masterpiece. Look, I'm making artwork. Aren't I so cool and special? Looky ma, I drew a circle. Do you even know what a circle is? Because it's not that. The nerve of you! You never... No, no, don't let her get a rise out of you now. Candles, candles, candles. Yeah, that's more of an oval. What you've made is an oval. Got candles. All right, that's all the candles I had. Hey, my brother is home. Welcome back. What's up, baby? Andrew, give us a hug. You have a draw limit on your card. I do? You do. I could only get a couple hundred bucks before it locked me out. Ha, suck it, bitch. That's not a thing a mother would say. Being insufferable runs in the family. Yeah, well, guess what? Now we all get to witness the wonders of customer service. Get up. You have a call to make. Ashley, take her to the phone. You draw your gun. It's getting dark in here. I need to turn the light on. What do I do? I wasn't paying attention. You owe me a hug. What's with you tonight? Thought you grew out of this touchy-feely crap. Um, you were the one who literally had her fingers through her belt loop a few minutes ago. <laughs> There's just a lot going on. I mean, if you need one, sure, but it's a bit, you know, with the audience. Blah ha ha ha. Never mind, clearly you're just fine. Forget this, there's a phone in the living room, get to it. This game would be good if you could play as an anthropomorphic hedgehog that could run really fast and you had to fight someone called Dr. Eggman. Yeah, well. Listen, not every game can be about Sonic, okay? Alright, hang on, I need to turn some lights on in here. It's in the damn dark. Like a caveman. Is this lamp plugged in? No, it's not. I don't think I'm going to be hitting this fan anytime soon. There we go. Okay. <sighs> Back to my filthy evil, I guess. For. Oh god, you are playing the incest game. Yeah, that's why I call it my filthy evil. If you bing bing, 
And then I wahoo, you bing bing for me, I wahoo for you. Hey, Ma? Ma and Dad? What am I looking for again? Vinegar? No, not that. Off we go. Oh, am I taking her with me? Okay. To the phone? There's a phone. Here's a phone. You're in luck, as the customer service line is just open for the day. Yet somehow there's already a million hour wait. So guess what? You wait. Hmm. Please hold. A representative will be with you as soon as possible. Please hold. A representative will be with you as soon as possible. Awkward. Roughly a quarter millennia later, Mother gets a hold of someone. I'm sorry, just let me confirm. You said you want me to remove the draw limit altogether? That's what I said, yes. Wow, that's crazy! What if your card gets stolen? Indeed. I'm not at all being held at gunpoint here. <laughs> there we go. You're gold. Is there anything else I can help you with? Apparently not. All right then. Have a nice day, Mrs. Graves. Now it's back into the basement with you, batch. And don't think for a second I didn't see the stunt you were trying to pull there. It was just small talk. OMG, I'm going to kill my mommy. The card should be freed now. Unlike your mother, whom Andrew quickly ties back up, I was looking at what you've set up here. And let, let's just say it's not quite there, is it? Yeah, I don't remember what the little runes look like anymore. God, your memory is such shit. Though I already figured as much, so I sketched them out for you. Why didn't you just draw the runes themselves? There's blood right there. Because you might have had a good reason for not drawing them yet. All right, fair, whatever. Give me the card. I'll go pick up the rest of the money. I really don't like the idea of you wandering around all by yourself at this hour. It's already morning, though. Well, yeah, but... I mean, still. Just hand me the card. I... Actually, uh, can I really give Andrew a can I really leave Andrew alone with mom and dad? Who knows what they'll say to him, and he's wishy-washy enough as it is. Ashley? You wonder if you can trust Andrew, Andrew enough to leave him alone with your parents. Um, well, I'll save game. Do I trust Andrew? Ooh, boy, we're coming close. Am I almost at the end? You guys know if I'm almost at the end. I'm getting tired. I'm gonna make dinner at some point. Yeah? Okay, good. Trust? Alright, I'll trust him. <sighs> Just give me the card. I'll go get the money. Got credit card. Please be careful. Aren't I always? When are you ever? Ha 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 ha. See you later. I'm a girl. It'll be fine. He won't turn on me as long as I have the trinket. You are now Andrew. There's nothing you can do about the missing audio, but at least you can draw the missing runes. Now, where did Ashley get all this blood? Sketch of a ruin. Got blood. Is she making you do this? No. Are you going to kill us? Come on. Of course not. Technically, anyway. Then what is all this witchcraft-looking nonsense? Just let her scare you a little. We'll, le we'll leave you alone after that. How about it? It's hard to say whether she believes you or not. They drawed their runes. There was something I tried to talk to you about earlier. I don't really care, honestly. About Ashley. What is it? I wanted to apologize to you. For always making you look after her. That was wrong of me. Yeah, it's fine. Can you imagine what it was like for me back then? When I was your age, I was always stuck with a seven and a five-year-old to care for. Think you'd have fared better than me? 
I wouldn't know. This isn't an excuse, mind you. It's an explanation. I never hated you. I was just a fuck-up. Don't say that, honey. We did fine. Ha, so fine. Look where we are right now. Anyway, you weren't such an easy child I thought we'd... You were such an easy child I thought we'd be fine having another. I wasn't counting on Ashley to be so... I'm sorry I made you raise her. I thought you were getting along, so I didn't want to see what it was happening. And for that, I apologize. It's all my fault. I apologize. Well, it is what it is. It doesn't have to be. I think we can still sort this out. Is that right? If, you've, if it's money you need, I can help you get a job. They're hiring at your company, aren't they, love? That's right. If I put in a good word for you, you're as good as hired. Be forewarned, though. They can get a lot of different customers there. But I know you can handle it. Should be easy after handling Ashley all this time. What do you say? Your parents are offering, offering you an olive branch. Uh... Shoot. Don't let Ashley win. I don't want Ashley to die, though, either. Because a part of me does enjoy Ashley, even though she's, like, the worst human being who's ever lived. And I have a feeling... I have a feeling. A feeling deep inside. A feeling I can't hide. That if I side with my parents... Ashley is going to die. Whereas if I side with Ashley, my parents are going to die. Which is bad, because my parents don't deserve to die, but Ashley does. But I think Ashley is too... Too integral to the plot. That if, if Ashley dies, then the game is probably going to be over. Hmm... Kill her? We don't care about her? Your mind is being clouded by incest? Sure, but also, like... I mean, the person who made the game is into the incest. So the person who made the game probably wants me to pick her, and I don't want to get a game over. Because if I pick my parents, then I think the game over is coming. I don't want to get a game over. I, I think if I if I accept their help, if I choose my parents, I think the game just ends there, so. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go for a decline. Well, about Ashley. I wish you wouldn't talk about her that way. That's my mother? She looks the same age as me. <laughs> Literally everyone in this game looks like a teenager. That's why I thought they were teenagers at first. Let's not fight. There's a solution here somewhere, I'm sure. What were those death certificates about, anyway? It's a life insurance scam. Nothing more. How's that work? There's this doctor. Well, a surgeon, actually. After they told us you'd be stuck in that apartment, we got redirected to him. And as far as the records go, you died from the parasites. I didn't even know I had any life insurance. Well, I got it for you too after you got quarantined. It's kind of curious that they'd let you do that. So when we died, you were in on it. See, my parents were shitty anyway. Like, they were shitty parents. Were they not? Like, I, I, I've gotten the sense that they don't really love us. Kind of neglectful parents. Of course not! I really thought you died! That's not true. They said your bodies had to be burned because of the parasites. So that's why I never got to confirm it myself. Ah, uh, she's full of shit. Yeah, that's not true. We were literally talking to her at the on the phone at the beginning of uh the beginning of the game. Where are you going? 
I have to finish setting this thing up for her. Oh, come on. Forget about this nonsense. We can sort the documents out. Hell, you can even live here if that doesn't work out. You can leave this whole mess behind you, just like that. That's okay. I'm not really interested. What? But that... That doesn't make any sense. Why would you not... Oh, I get it. You fuck her. <laughs> what? Huh? Oh, that is disgusting. Andrew, she's your sister, for God's sake. No, I don't! Even the mom thinks we're incest -y. <laughs> Mom, it's not what it looks like! I swear I don't fuck her! I haven't done anything! What the hell, Mom? Then what does she give you that makes it worth all this? Uh, well, that's none of your business, is it? I knew something was off. How did I fuck up so bad? I'm the worst mother ever. Yeah, if your kids are fucking, that would be... That would be some pretty bad parenting. No! I mean, yes, you are, but I have never! I'm back! Oh, well, speak of the devil. Now of all times... I got the money! Did you miss me, handsome? Did you? Did you? Ugh. Yeah, you're not exactly making it look like I don't fuck you, Ashley. I want to die. <sighs> Whatever! Summon the fucking demon already! I was so eager. Let's see if it shows up, though. Since there's no music. Wait, what are you talking about? Quiet, you. I'm still armed. Andrew, light the candles. Okay. Just gonna be sacrificing our parents to a demon here. All right, get to it. You are now Ashley. There is there is really no need for that. Ahem. Hello, hello, Mr. or Mrs. Demon. I'm sorry I don't have the mood music, but I have the other stuff you asked for. There's no answer. Maybe if I sing something? Please don't. Mercifully, the demon shows up to spare everyone from the second-hand embarrassment. Ah! Tar soul. What the fuck is that? I offer those two. Their screaming is short-lived as the demon steals their souls. Huh, I wonder if I should feel something. Oh, my parents are dead. Well, anyway, so the music wasn't needed to summon you after all? Why'd I have to play it the last time then? The circle is hard to find. Sound is easy to follow. However, you have my talisman now. It makes you easy to find. Speaking of which... A deal's a deal. Charge it up, please. Your trinket works again. Thank you! Hmm. What? Hello? This is the brother. That's right. My pride and joy. And no, you can't have his soul. It's mine. I will see you again, Tar Soul. Sure, I'll make another offering once the trinket needs to be charged again. I will summon you. Bring this one with you. What? Me? Why? Okie dokie, bye bye. The entity leaves. Guys, this is ending soon, right? This stream is getting a little long. And that's that. The trinket is charged. What did it mean? It'll summon you. Who cares? What do we do about the bodies? Who cares, she says. Are you kidding me? The bodies, Andy. Focus. And then I snap my fingers. Right, the bodies. Uh, hmm. Well, on one hand, we didn't kill them. On the other, them having gone missing would definitely be better for us. Maybe they just fucked off somewhere? Who knows? Meanwhile, if there's a murder investigation... Right, so let's make them disappear. Right, we can start by chopping them up. Can't we just dump them in the ocean or something? No, Ashley, we're going to make them vanish, not wash up ashore somewhere. Um, let's go get the cleaver from the kitchen. This is the bath. Oh, wait a minute. No, oh, that's just a trowel, I guess. Max, you should play Sonic 3D Blast instead of this. 
I mean... I, I played that maybe when I was like seven. Also, that game is not great either. I mean, let's be real, that is not a great game. I need a cleaver or something. Can I talk to you? No, nope. can't talk to brother. Cannot leave home. Cannot turn on TV. Cannot leave home that way. Rubber gloves. Vinegar. Mm, truly, this is a stellar mop. Ugh. How to go about this? We can't leave a mess behind. Did I just need to interact with them? Okay. Well, there's a drain right there. Ah, right you are. See, I'm not a dumbass all the time. No, just dumb and an ass. Oh, wow, check out this smart ass right here. Andrew is untidy, untying the parents, but stops. W wait, what? What is that? Is dad breathing? You take a look, and sure enough, his chest is moving ever so slightly. He is! Mom, too! What the fuck? This is weird. You try various things, but nothing gets a response from your parents. Yet their hearts still beat. Their lungs draw in air. Oh god, what is this? Maybe losing your soul just turns you into a vegetable? That can't be. The cultist died. And the warden, too. Well, I mean, did you actually check? Uh-oh. I sure didn't. I just went to town and started chopping. No, 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 please tell me he wasn't alive when we ate him. Ha 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 ha. I'm a girl. What the fuck is so funny about this? Come on now, I'm sure he died pretty quickly from blood loss. If not, you ripping his head off must have done the trick. <sighs> It'll be the same with these two. Get the cutting. No, that... This changes everything, doesn't it? You want to leave them like this? They're not getting their souls back. Though if you want to leave them to starve, I'm all for it. Wouldn't it be a little poetic? I'm sure you'd like that. Oh, I don't know. I need to think. Oh, come on! Well, if they're alive, but they have no souls, that would make it exceptionally easy to fake their deaths, wouldn't it? Because you could just throw them off a cliff. And then the autopsy would say that they died from impact from having fallen off a cliff, right? <laughs> Why does Dipper Goes to Taco Bell have better writing than this? <laughs> I don't know what Dipper Goes to Taco Bell is, but... It's still got a chuckle out of me. <laughs> yeah, put them in a car and have them crash or something. I know! I know! No, Andrew, look! Look here for a sec! What? Oh, and she stabbed him. Stabbed the mom. You get your father, too. Well, what are you doing? There, all dead. Now tell me again how I always make you do all the dirty work. Weird. He'll bitch and moan. Surely he'll bitch and moan, as per usual. But you did not miss the sigh of relief. Anyway... You drag your parents' soulless and lifeless bodies over to the shower. Alright, I'll start cutting. You guide the blood into the drain with the shower head. Gotcha! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? Stop! 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 It's flooding! Huh? Oh, what the hell? Gross. Ugh, great. The drain is clogged up. And the lid is screwed shut. I need a screwdriver. You just keep chopping the bodies. I'll get you something to unclog the drain with. Um, I saw a box of screwdrivers somewhere. Got a screwdriver. How do you unclog this thing anyway? After we unscrew the lid, you can pour down some baking soda and vinegar down the drain. Well, I know where I can get vinegar. Don't know about baking soda. I guess I'm gonna try upstairs. 
In here? Baking soda? Baking soda in kitchen? Check the top cabinets. Got baking soda. There we go. Blech. Excuse me. Andrew unscrews the drain lid. Pour in baking soda first. You pour down a generous amount of baking soda and then douse it with vinegar. The soda starts bubbling up, but the clog doesn't lessen one bit. Well, we tried. I'll get some rubber gloves. I'm the one who's gonna have to get in there. But of course, I am but a dainty little lady. You can't expect me to do a man's job. Fine, just get me the gloves. Got rubber gloves. Here you go. Here you go, have fun. Handed Andrew the rubber gloves. He digs out God knows what of the drain. Out of the drain. A seemingly never-ending amount of God knows what. Oh God, that's disgusting. Oh, I'm gonna gag. You're not helping. You literally just stabbed both of your parents and you think this is gross? Cleaning a drain is gross? But stabbing your parents is fine? I'm 95% sure Ash is going to kill Andy in his sleep or choke him to death in bed during gymnastics. Yeah, probably. I wouldn't trust Ashley. I wouldn't turn my back on her. I'd sleep with one eye open. Fuck, that is gross, Andy. Ha ha ha. Bold of you to call me that when I am armed. Gasp, you wouldn't. Come here, you. Ah, no, no, don't you dare. I'll fucking kill you in your sleep. Hey, speak of the devil, right? Any last words? Forgive me, Andrew, Andrew, I'm sorry, I apologize. Fine, you are spared for now. The drain works, let's get this over with. You and your brother dismember your parents. Oh, how sweet. And disembowel them all. And decapitate them all. You also make a mental note to to yourself about Andrew. Instead of oscillating between freaking out and apathy, like you expected him to. Who is that? What? No, nothing, Andrew. If you're tired, I can take care of the rest. What? No, it's really nothing. I must be seeing things. Uh, what? To think I'd ever bear witness to you being distraught over our parents' corpses. Oh, right. Then again, I bet you're just moping over finally getting your hands dirty. And, uh, you? Hmm, what? Are you doing alright? As alright as I can be, considering the circumstances. That's good. You're being weird. <laughs> Look who's talking. Is the brother going to be flirty now? Did he finally snap? <laughs> I actually want to in inhume the 96% of reviewers who rated this positively. Not sure what inhume means. I think she's starting to rub off on me, though. I think she's finally getting to Andy. I think she's finally uh, broken his brain. All right, enough time wasted. Andrew continues casually butchering your parents. Incidentally, there's a knot in your stomach. So what's the plan for all this? We're to dispose of it all. Yeah, but how? See, I knew if I had chose to uh, side with my parents, I definitely would have got a game over. This wouldn't have happened. Game would have ended a long time ago. We'll use whatever means available to the house. Let's look around and see what we can do. Got a head. Got all the limbs. That is a lot of limbs. Got torso times two. Got a pile of organs. Got another head. Just Ram 3, thanks for subbing. Thanks for joining us today. We're playing the incest game. You 
Cut the limbs into chopped meat. Got chopped meat. You skinned the heads. Got face times two. Got skull times two. What do I do with their faces? Make masks out of them? I don't know. Throw them in the fireplace? And what about the skulls? Well, the skulls we can deal with later, along with all the other bones. You pour your parents' organs in the blender and blend away. Several servings of crimson smoothie emerge, all of which you pour down the kitchen sink. How's that? Good is gone. I'm genuinely surprised you didn't offer me any. <clears throat> what, did you want a disease or something? Of course I wouldn't offer you raw meat. You really take me for an idiot, don't you? I take you for what you are, idiot. Watch your mouth. This idiot just poured your parents down the drain. Huh, <laughs> alright. That was pretty smart, I guess. For an idiot. Ooh, I know. Let's turn some of the meat into soup. Throw in some vegetables, maybe spices. And then throw the rest away as scraps. What do you mean, the rest? What do you think? I'm eating some. Do what you want. What was that soup you made earlier? And what were the ingredients again? The recipe is right there. Read it. Shame on me for thinking you'd be helpful. Hmm. It was meat, onions, potatoes, and carrots. Chop everything up and throw them into the pot. Ah, there we go. Thank you. I knew you'd memorize it, you fucking nerd. You're welcome. Alright. I guess I'm making some stew of my lovely mother and father. This game is so edgy! Whoa! I killed my parents and I'm gonna eat them and I sacrificed them to a demon. Whoa! The edgy! It would be like a cremation. There's no way the temperature of this thing gets high enough. Boo-hoo! Watch! You place the torsos above the fireplace. Andrew rolls his eyes but lights the fire for you. Well, would you look at that? Nothing is happening. Give it a minute! God damn! This isn't wor- Oh wait, that's Andrew. This isn't working! Makes me kinda hungry, though. Uh, let's leave this be for now. You throw the faces into the fire, too. Got potatoes. Got carrots. Got onion. I can go outside now. Hmm. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna chop the veggies. Um, is that is it ready? <clears throat> Look at that, much better than your soup. And was there anything else you still needed to deal with? I don't know. The soup is brewing. Let's go check on the torso in the fireplace. Do you think the soup is ready yet? I don't know, it's only been cooking for seven seconds. And I can't select the fireplace. This game is gross like a 2014 Wattpad fanfic written by a 12 year old is gross. Literally, Dipper goes to Taco Bell without the poop. I don't know what this Dipper goes to Taco Bell thing is that you guys keep making reference to, but... Is it Dipper from, uh, from Gravity Falls? It's the only Dipper I can think of. This mop, it is a work of art. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Where do I go? Oh my gosh, Andy. I don't know what to do next. I'm so stupid, I'm such a girl. OMG, Andy! Andy, there's nothing I can click on, Andrew! In the bedroom, maybe? The soup? You want me to go tr uh, check the soup again? Let's go check out that soup, see if it's done. Dinner is ready! I'm eating too. 
Of course, this is the last hearty home-cooked meal for a while, after all. I suppose. That's right, now say ah. Ah. Uh, unexpected. I love feeding the remains of my parents to my brother. So edgy and dark and emo. Well, well, how is it? It's okay. Just okay? I mean, it's better than last time, but... Why are you so picky? It's really dry. You overcooked it or something. Mom's just a dry person, all right? Now, how the hell is it dry? This is soup! No, Mom should be more salty. This is just bland and dry. I rate this waste of ingredients out of 10. Would not eat again. <gasps> I will never retract that state. <laughs> you will retract that statement at once even. I don't know why I slipped the word never in there. I slave away in the kitchen for you and this is all the thanks I get. I'm sorry you can't cook. You're not forgiven. Oh? Jackass, eat shit and die. Well, this food is certainly shit. But what? Come on, I'm just joking. It's not that bad, it's fine. More than fine! Yes, yes, it's fantastic in a way my dumbass can't appreciate. How about that? Hmph. Why, yes indeed, this cooking is beyond my mortal comprehension. Correct! And out of this world culinary experience which the likes of me cannot even taste properly. Because my taste buds simply aren't evolved enough to sense all the subtleties. Truly, when I said waste of ingredients, it's meant... I meant it's a waste to feed it to me. Food of this caliber should not be fed to should be only fed to kings. No, gods. That's more like it. So exquisite is your cooking that I will write you a shitty poem about it. Oh god. Ha ha ha. Lo and behold, I implore you, come feast your eyes on her. Oh, and there is food too. To ease your weary soul, she's brewed a broth to give you quite the fright. There must be magic on her fingertips to cook such a delight. And yet the meat is drier than her lips, quarter past midnight. Should I buy lip balm? And the meat isn't dry, goddamn. It's just right. Ha 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 Ah, whatever. Humans are hard to cook. I'll get it next time. What next time? Ah, eh, whatever. Anyhow, I think we've dealt with the flesh to the best of our abilities. But we still need to do something about the bones. First of all, I need to ditch the leftover soup. While you do that, I'll clean the kitchen. It should be fine to chuck this into the trash bin outside, right? Got human soup. No, I wouldn't do that, but... You're a dumb bitch. You've been drinking that dumb bitch juice. I don't think anything's gonna happen. You are now Andy. Need to figure out what to do with all the bones. Well, now I'll collect them all before Ashley loses track of them. Got plastic bags. What to do with all of these horrible bones? The flesh is burned into charcoal, but the bones remain. You put them in one of the plastic bags. Ashley? I have bones, Ashley. Where are you? Ashley, where did you go? Oh, there you are. So what do we do about these skulls? Thinking of throwing those into the ocean along with the rest of the bones. So much for making them disappear, huh? What did we what did we do all this other crap for? Quiet you, as long as the teeth are removed, it should be fine. Based on what logic? The uh dental records, I guess. You guess? How nice. Forgive me, oh beloved, for I have never gotten rid of a body before. I'm hoping one can identify someone based on their bones alone. Do bones float, though? Aren't they kind of like sticks? I'll find something to weigh them down, just in case. You removed one of your parents' teeth using a screwdriver. You got a whole bunch of teeth. You got all the teeth. Now you've got to find a way to get rid of them. You got toothless skull. You got other toothless skull. You flush the teeth down the toilet. It takes a few tries to flush them all. 
There, all gone. You wish you could do this to all of your problems. Ash, do you know what you can use to, uh... Weigh down some bones? We got some bones to weigh down. So we lose the teeth, bag the bones with some rocks, and call it a day. Got it. Man, we were all just a happy family just a few minutes ago. <sighs> what happened? Ashley happened is what happened. This is all Ashley's fault. <laughs> Infinite money glitch. Kill someone and pull their teeth under your pillow. Repeat. Max, you chose this, remember. I chose what I had to choose to not get a game over. You could have saved them. If I wanted to get a game over, which I don't. You place them in one of the plastic bags. You don't get a game over? Well, you must. Because if, if choosing this was the choice that would have gotten me the game over, then why is the game still going? Finally, all that remains now is cleaning up the basement. Ugh, do we have to? Yes, obviously. Why? We'll have to sacrifice someone again later anyway. Huh? Why would it have to be here? We're going to live here, right? We just have to keep paying our parents' rent or whatever. I wish we could, but eventually someone is going to go, Hey, Mrs. Graves hasn't showed up to work in a while. And so they get fired, so what? I doubt either of their bosses will care enough to file a missing persons report. There's also the fact that they apparent, apparently mingled with the people here. The neighbors will notice them gone, despite their names still being on the door. We can tell some lie, say we're house-watching for our parents, and so on. Listen, not everyone gives zero shits like you. They have co-workers, friends, other family besides us. What a bunch of whores. Why weren't they happy with just each other's? I didn't imply they fucked any of them. Irrelevant, it's all the same. Anyway, they can't go, they can't all go, haven't heard from those two in a while, oh well. Someone's gonna come looking with the authorities. And who will, f and who will they find here? Their children who didn't report their parents missing. Officer asks, how the fuck aren't you dead anyway? If you don't want to stay here, just say so. It's not that I don't want to, I just don't think we can. Well, can we at least use their IDs? We can be the new and improved Mr. and Mrs. Graves. We'd run into the same problem as with our own IDs. Once the authorities start looking for them, they'll see what we've been up to with theirs. Huh. <sighs> Sorry, Ash. I wish it was that easy. Whatever, I'll clean the basement then. You are now Ashley. God damn it, I really thought we were gonna we were in the clear after all this. Oh whatever. I'm gonna need a mop. And I know just the mop for the job. You got an excellent mop. Clean, clean, clean. Oh how I love to clean! Oh I love it, I love it, I love it! I'm cleaning, I'm cleaning! Oh Should I put the candles back in the box too? Yeah, I love picking up candles in video game! Thrilling gameplay. Wolfo, go lie down. Wolfo's back. No. No whining. All done. Are we ready to go? I think so. Though there's no way to tell if we miss something still. Other than maybe see if you have a dream where we're caught, I guess. I offered two souls, so it stands to reason I have at least two visions coming. How about I take a nap and see if a disaster awaits us? Please do. Shush, bud. So what are the conditions to get a vision? As in, what did the demon say about it exactly? Hell if I remember. You don't? Erg. Could you possibly give any less of a fuck? That'd be great. Wolfo, stop whapping your tail at me. Oh, do forgive me, your highness. It's been a week or two. And up yours. You didn't even remember our parents' address. Which is, of course, just as important as this. Look, it just said that if I need to hold on to it to have, a cl to have clairvoyant dreams. That's it. It was in my pocket last time when it happened. 
Then could I hold it this time? It gave it to me, so maybe it wouldn't work with you? Oh, what's it hurt to try? God, you can't read between the lines for shit. That was me telling you no. I did get it, I just don't care. Stop being so selfish all the time and let me try. It's my trinket! Ever heard of sharing? How am I supposed to share this? Do you want to cut the trinket in half? I'm sure that's a great idea. No, just... We're not cutting it! That's not it, but I'm sure we can both hold it at the same time. See if either of us gets a vision. How? It's a bit small. Between our hands, right? Oh my, how romantic. Come again? Holding hands when we sleep together. Man, fuck off. <laughs> I'm weird. Alright, forget this. Good night. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's fine. Though I still think I'm going to be the one who has a vision. We'll see. Oh, how cute. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Fuck this. How am I supposed to sleep after you went and said something so off color? Blah. <laughs> I am girl. It doesn't help that it doesn't help at all that mom said something outrageous too. Oh yeah, I heard that. You did, huh? So that's what that little show was about earlier. Did you see her face? That was great. I hope she regretted her entire life just then. Pretty sure she regretted giving birth to us. I'll take it. If for once she regretted the both of us, then I'm happy. What? Nothing. Good night. It isn't long until sleep takes you over. <laughs> you know what this game needs? Foamy the squirrel. I was just thinking the same thing. I thought it was supposed to be ending. You guys keep telling me that I'm almost there, but... Wow, who drew all this garbage? I don't fucking know. Wolfo, don't dig your nails into me. Come on. You're being a brat. You're being an asshole, bud. Got red crayon. Nothing but static. Hmm. Oh. Got green crayon. Hmm. Green goes, green is directly down from TV? Yeah, okay. Got the blue crayon. Got the blue crayon. Oh, I love the blue crayon. Max came here to do two things, eat salmon and play video games. Eat salmon? How would I eat salmon? I'm having shrimp tacos tonight. Gave pink plushie all the crayons. The TV and you watch each other. More importantly, this episode is titled Lele and Lele Alone. Mother plushie won't budge. Father plushie won't budge. Got green plushie. The pink plushie sits sits by itself. I'll leave it. Place down green plushie. Oh, the plushies seem happy together. Yellow plushie won't budge. Purple plushie won't budge. Trash is locked. Soup is brewing, though it seems to be missing sustenance. You guys told me I was almost done. 
but I can't extend this to another stream because I know that if I do that, then I'm going to start that other stream and then I'm going to finish it right away and, and then I'm going to have nothing to do the rest of that stream. The chest is locked. You only have two hours left? Bro's invested in this game. Eh, sort of. I'm having fun. Empty spot. I'm having fun. It's schlock, but I'm having fun. Got the pink plushie. Okay, what, is, what are those brown things? Plushies have made brown. Stool. Got a green plushie. Oh, everything unlocked. There we go. Trash can can now be utilized. Can it really? Yes, it can. Okay. It's in here. There's nothing in the chest yet. know what I do. I'm getting tired, you guys. The dinner plate sits on the floor. Yeah, pick up the parents? Oh, yeah. Mom plushie. And do I put them in the pot? To simulate their death? There we go. Nothing in the trash. Nothing in the chest. Got purple hussy. Got yellow floozy. Ooh, I don't know if I like the sound of that. Actually, you know what? I bet one of those goes in the chest. Lock away the yellow? Nothing happens. Lock away the... Whoop, actually did yellow again. Let's try that one more time. Purple! Locked away the purple plushie. Now it is exactly where it belongs. Oof. I'm gonna put the yellow in here. A bit of wishful thinking, perhaps. There is nothing in the cage. I put the green bunny in there. It's got the best thing in the world. There, all better. Finish up, game. Game, I like you, but it's time to wrap it up. It is time to wrap up the coffin of Andy and Lele. Let's go. Got knife. Remove knife. Um, got flower. Got a broken heart. Got sunshine. Got a heart. Finally, you monster. Okay, we're gonna put... Broken heart there. Yep, that looks right. Sunshine there. And then we're gonna put the regular heart there. Hmm. I thought that was going to work, but it didn't. Heart, sunshine, broken heart. Okay, so we take, we take that sunshine. I'm gonna put the sunshine there. And broken heart there. Max, think about what's th what this represents. Well, I'm guessing that the yellow bunny is Julie. And I guess, 
I'm guessing that what I'm supposed to be doing is I'm supposed to be recreating what happened. So, Ashley split up Andrew and Julie so that she could have them all to herself? I think this is right. It's some Somehow it seems like a highly questionable idea to take this route. Uh, I know what I'm about. We have to live with the consequences of our actions. Got key. Parents? Do I unlock rabbit? Got green plushy. Okay. Um, and now I have to find which pedestal to put the green plushy on? Friends. That's not right. The green plushy represents Andrew. Classmates. Parents. Well, this is the only portrait that even has a green rabbit in it, so... Sibling. But I can't put it there. Because there is no pedestal here. Shoot. Hmm. Um... Sibling. Yeah, that's... That's us. We're siblings. Friends. Classmates. And then this one is parents. Fuck. You put it on each of them? It's not a puzzle? Oh, okay. Never mind. It's just my highly analytical brain acting up. Uh oh. Things are looking very red. Oh, Demon Man. Can I talk to you? Andrew, dot, 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 dot. Penny for your thoughts. No deal. Come on, give me one word. Mortifying. Why are they naked? Huh? Didn't seem like it a minute ago. So I think you meant to say gratifying. Big words don't fit in your mouth. Yeah, something else fit in it just fine earlier. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah. So mortified are you? You know, I'm easy to distract. Some guilty conscience you've got. No, no, no! No, no, no! Better than yours. Come here, you. <laughs> Wait, gently, gently, goddammit. Is that the ending? Oh, was, was us having sex just a bad part of the dream? Because now our clothes are back on. The vision ends without you dying. So at least there's that, you suppose. Welp. You wonder if Andrew saw it too. That they had a vision of them fucking in the future? Mayhaps. Oh shit, you're awake. Well, hello to you too. Uh, yeah, good morning, or evening, I guess, whatever. Right, so hey, did you get a vision? Probably not. Really? Do you see dreams like that a lot then? I don't! Bwahaha, so you did see it. Oh boy. Quite the vision, huh, big brother? That was not a vision. The demon is messing with us. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that's just it. It's because we tried to be cheap and get two visions for the price of one. So it gave us a fake vision instead. That's the only explanation that makes sense. Oh, see? It's fine. Oh, please. I mean, it is your trinket. Clearly you were right and I wasn't supposed to use it. Sure, sure, keep selling it. I'm totally buying. Screw you. Yeah, you just might. 
Fuck off. Do you honestly think that? Ha 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 ha. I don't know. You tell me. Listen here, you. Fucking spare me. I don't want to hear it. You just helped me desecrate our parents' corpses, yet getting laid is what you're freaking out about? No one got laid. I'm glad it was just a vision. <laughs> I'm glad it didn't actually happen. <laughs> Delete the VOD? No, this VOD will be etched into the obsidian tablets of history. And you keep telling me I messed up. What a joke. Oh, Andrew is not happy. We're not like that, are we? I don't know. You just come off that way sometimes. Huh? How so? A tad jealous. Oh dear. What's that? Wishful thinking? Tell that to my ex. Let's not pretend you don't have a bit of a jealous streak yourself. Now that's wishful thinking. Fat chance. Get over yourself. Sigh. I don't think I need to ask you this, but let me anyway. It's never gonna come to that, right? You and me? Uh... Never or never say never. What do I do, guys? Never say never? You know what? I'll do the... I'll do the eeny meeny miny mo again. Eeny meeny miny... I'm not looking. Eeny meeny miny mo. Catch the tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. My mother said to pick the very next one and you are it! Nah. Thank God. Though it sincerely doesn't matter to you one way or the other. It only matters that he is around. Always around. So should he be open to such endeavors, you'd have no qualms about indulging him. Ugh. What stronger leverage is there than that? But since he has a better head on his shoulders than you, it's a pointless pursuit. If anything, him being so unwilling would tip the odds in his favor, so forget it! What a warped sense of humor that demon has. Haha, <laughs> well it's got its point across. No freebies. That vision had better not cost us a real one. Well, whether it did or it didn't, there's at least one more vision left. Well, either way, now that this little debacle is past us, want to go throw our parents into the ocean? Absolutely, let's go. I can't believe it's not over yet! Okay, now you close the game. I, but I want to be done! I don't want to do another stream of this! Because I want to play World of Horror on Monday. It's an RPG that came out that I've been dying to play. How do we get to the beach? Oh, whoops. <sighs> Awkward. Ooh. I hate you. It's not my fault. The stupid bag ripped on its own. I don't care. Hurry and pick them up. Okay. I'll do it for you, Andy, my brother. Thank God no one is here at this hour. Vroom, vroom. Okay, so don't stray too far into the light. Just in case somebody does pass by. Finally, this must be the end. Andrew drops the bag with the bones and rocks into the ocean. Since my bag broke, how do we make sure the skulls sink? We'll probably be fine. Into the ocean they go. Well, there they went. So they did. Should we recite a prayer or something? Let's not get too sanctimonious here. I feel like we should, I don't know, say something. To put it past us. For closure. Closure for what, exactly? I don't know. It was just a thought. I'm, start I'm starting to think you want me to be upset. I'm just worried. I know I don't give a shit, but I thought you did. I did. Ah, oh, fine. Let me think. Take your time. Dear Mom and Dad, uh, Thanks for giving me life. It's been awful. And thanks for giving Ashley life. She, too, has been awful. Hey! Oh, I'm sorry. Did you not want me to share my thoughts after all? Some eulogy this is, but go on. Sorry for selling your souls. That was very rude of us. But you sold ours first, so that makes us even, doesn't it? 
And that's all I have to say. Maybe he has changed after all. You seem a bit down. Are you sure you're not the one who wanted to say something? If so, then go for it. It's not that. Then what? Say, now that this has been dealt with, are we in the clear? Honestly, I have no idea. There's always the possibility I overlooked something. That's right, I bet you did. Huh? I bet you fucked up bad, and we're just waiting to get hauled off to jail right now. Death Row, here we come! Wow, thanks, Ashley. Really, I'm gonna put my mind at ease. <laughs> You've got nothing to fear, as long as I'm here with my trinket. I don't know, didn't you say we... Didn't you say the last vision was useless? Foolish Andrew, if we'd be in trouble, surely the vision would have shown me that instead. You're so confident in pulling these assumptions out of your ass. But I hope you're right. Don't you worry, just leave it all to me. But anyway, what should we do now? Leave it all to you, huh? Our next move, Andrew, plan it. Um, well, the money has bought us some time, but we still need to find ourselves new identities. Bullet Bloods, thanks for joining us today. It's a first time chatter. We're playing an incest game. And it's about incest. Which I'm sure you'll be a fan of. <laughs> do, do, do we really, though? Can't we just live in the car and mug random people for a living? That's just not going to work out for very long. Every time we try our luck, we're more likely to get caught. And can't we buy fake identities? I know people do that sometimes. Point me to the guy who sells them and I'll get right on that. Oh, that cultist club seems like a really sketchy spot. Maybe someone there knows someone who sells them. Probably not, though. Stop being such a defeatist. Let's go take a little look-see. It's a crap idea to go anywhere near where we killed that guy. Also, that motel- Also, that motel was the only one letting us stay with Kosh only! Fine, but we're leaving the car in some random spot. Since there's definitely an ongoing investigation for that hitman's death. Right, cool, whatever, let's get going. Please end already. Hmm? I had a mole here? Are you coming or what? In a minute, let me finish this. Waste of time and money, I love it. Ugh, glad to hear it. End of episode two. Hey, finally! Finally! Oh! Max, can you call me a slur in your girl's voice? It's so fucking hot, I'm melting. I don't know about that, friend. Is there a third episode? You can continue on here once episode 3, Burial, has been updated. Well, you know what that means, kids. You know what that means, my close personal friends. It means we're not done yet. We are not done yet. We have more of the, the adventures of Andy and Lele in a coffin ahead of us. It's not over. It ain't even over. Andy and Lele will return in episode 3 blood money. <laughs> I don't know what episode 3 is going to be called. <laughs>